you are. Go. <laughs> Did we get a picture? You get a screenshot of it. <laughs> oh God! It's, it's your quite, fault. Look quite normal. Look quite normal. It's your fault. Yep. <laughs> I'm just gonna um open up Psychic Kelly Live and see what um, see how that looks now. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> That's funny. That's yeah. Funny. Well, you are not tuned into the weekly tarot weekly forecast. Tarot. You're tuned into Four Fools Making Faces. Yes. yes. Well, Greg, then you'll probably appreciate this. So many years ago, I took a funny shot of me and my boys when they were really young, making silly faces. And so my boyfriend is an artist and he drew a caricature, like drawing of it. And... No. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's great. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's great. Yeah, Brittany, yeah. And I, Brittany and I would make funny faces in front of the computers at Walmart, each one of them, and we'd use it as a screensaver. We'd both be like, so whenever people <laughs> walked by, they would see. <laughs> and then, you know, we did, uh, we would do that, like when we went on a cruise together, we, you know, everyone's taking these, you know, photos for posterity and her and I are like <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah it's got to be done, it's gotta and be I, done. Lo I love that Allie is my partner in crime and that I don't have to twist her arm she's like yeah <laughs> look at that post I did today um I did that a year ago or three I can't remember a couple of years ago um the one with the goggly eyes oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. So I reshared that today because I thought, well, I'm doing readings later, so it's still relevant, isn't it? And I'm like, I'm like, something's different. Did you get a new scarf? <laughs> <laughs> you get. <laughs> so we've got lovely Vera, and we've got Sherry, and we've got Mr. Gorgeous Sexy Prescott. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You got lovely Vera, and then you got Sherry. <laughs> Lovely what Sherry. Yeah, I'm lovely, the beautiful. I'm not very good at the adjectives. Uh huh. Oh, you got Mr. Sexy or whatever you called me. <laughs> well, I can do that all the time, all, all through the day. But I can't call Sherry sexy, can I? That's not right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. She, I don't think she'd be offended. I don't care. <laughs> call us all sexy. <laughs> Sherry the Wonderful. Oh, and the you. lovely <laughs> goddess, our host, the lovely goddess. Absolutely. I'm not yes. sure which way. To, I, I know on date night I can go like this, but now <laughs> I'll, I'll just go. And our lovely go, uh, ho, ghost I'm host, <laughs> goddess <laughs> host, like that. Ellie Prescott. Shared it. Wow. Shared it. Uh, you've shared it. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. There's nobody on for me to tell them to share it. Well, there's five people, they're not talking. How shadow banned are we, darling? How shadow banned? Very, but that's okay. If, if I'll, anybody I'll goes live, most people get about 50. We don't. No. I'll, I'll post this on the N5D YouTube channel. And yeah. Oh, I just want to make a quick announcement too. Um, I'm making. A new video that'll be ready tomorrow night before our date night. I'm going to premiere it at 7 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Um, it's called How to Escape Time. And uh, that'll be on um, the N5D YouTube channel at 7 p.m. Eastern. And then at 8 o'clock, Allie and I have a show where we talk about everything and anything. And it's all fun. And it's our, our date night. But it's, you know, we cover the gamut on everything on that. And one last thing, too. On in5d.net, I got 50% off on all ladies crew neck shirts. So check that out, in5d.net. Yeah. All right. You see, that was worth coming on, wasn't it? Yeah. I've been I am your dolphin dreams uh, shirt. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love What's that. What's the new one called? Great name. Which new one? Is that, is that the new one? Because you did 
Oh, what colours did you do? I don't know. And something else. There's a new one that I'm going to be doing, and it's going to be um, red and peach. I That's think the that, one, yeah. I haven't, I haven't done it yet. I haven't done that yet. Um, that's one I want to do. What's the one that you showed up? Is that one of your normal ones then? Because I don't well, recognize it. Well, no, I did the Peach Passion but, uh, recently, but that one is that that's a newer, but not the newest. Uh, the Tequila Sunrise would be one, the, one of the newer ones. Hmm. Yeah. So. I love it. Whenever we do our creative stuff, our inner children comes out. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Take me, me drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're doing astrology today. Um, astrology is going to be the 29th. No. 20th, 28th or 29th? It'll be 28th of March through to the 3rd of April, 22. So... That's what we're doing today. Um, and I think we're all gonna, are you gonna have a go, Mr. Prescott? You pick some cards? Look at the time. Yeah. <laughs> no, come on, come Look on, at the time. come on. Look at the time I'm, I'm, watch on. I'm living without time. <laughs> One hair past a pimple. I <laughs> uh, no, I can't. <laughs> I, 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 I would ruin the show with you. No, 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 no. I think you should. No, no, I know he won't. I know he won't. Maybe some other time. Maybe, yeah. But if I can, if I'm doing it, then you should definitely be doing it. Well, I've I've got to work on that. I've got I've got a lot of editing I need to do on that video. So oh, oh. I'm editing that video. I know. We're going to on the marathon though. On the conference, we're going to do a little bit together, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We are. So, oh, good. Yeah, definitely. So on that note, I'll bid you ladies adieu. Have a great show and oh. see you all later. That's bye, yeah. Greg. I'll call you all. I love you. Love you too, baby. <laughs> bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you you see him running off. <laughs> no. Oh, not doing that. He used to. He used to. He just um he used to do it before spirit chat, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, and sometimes he would do it before, um, you know, even with, um, you know, just his like news review. Yeah. Okay. So we did, this was last week's, we did Libra and then we did Capricorn and then we did Sagittarius and then water signs. So I think we've got to do water signs first this time. And then we'll go for earth signs fire signs no air signs then fire signs does that sound all right no yeah, that sounds yeah. good <clears throat> okay so, water earth air fire yeah <laughs> why are you all lollygagging <laughs> she thought <laughs> Oh, you're going to get such a beating. <sighs> so, um, let me get my thingy. You'd think I'd be ready, wouldn't I? I'm sorry for the delay. No, that's okay. Gave me time to eat and well, talk to Robert yeah. and message Deb. And <laughs> <so>. <laughs> well, it was like I saw the, the food in my cupboard and I thought, oh, that looks nice. I think I'm going to do myself a salad and do some chicken pieces and I thought yeah I'm gonna have a proper dinner <laughs> so that's that took some time okay so um who wants to go first he's, he's going Win. good thing you got that doofus off the air <laughs> 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 doofus I haven't heard that since school <laughs> that's a while ago and the good thing is I never heard it before until now oh really 
Oh yeah, that was a big word in the in the eighties. Yes, it was. Yes. Yeah. I remember it. Okay. So we're gonna start off with Scorpio and then we're gonna do Pisces and then Cancerians. Okay, what a dork. <laughs> Sextiest dork I've ever seen, Mr. <laughs> Which one of you ladies wants to go first or would you like me to? Uh, yeah, I'll let I'll let you go, Allie. All right. I'll let you, I'll let you break break the ice. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is the 28th through to the 3rd of April. Okay. And this is um, 2022. If you do end up watching this later, there's usually a reason why you're watching it. Okay. So I would still listen to it if I was you. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So we've just done psychic development. We did psychic counseling today and um everybody did really well it was a very beneficial class it really was yeah i didn't i didn't even know what it was about psychic counseling counseling did you not uh, <laughs> did i think most of your readings are like heartfelt though aren't they so okay i missed that part <laughs> <laughs> i was oh i know why Coffee. Coffee. Ah, coffee. Yep. You did. Okay, so um, this is for Scorpio. Scorpios, we're starting off um, the beginning of the week with the hanged man. Okay, so the hanged man is all about everything having to be waiting or pending, waiting for this, waiting for that. I feel in your personal life, there's so much that you want, but you can't have yet for whatever reason. And that seems to be in many areas of your life okay so it's not just one area it seems to be in a lot of them um i'm seeing <clears throat> a need for solitude a need to go away and just kind of relax and sometimes when we're given the weight card there's a real reason as to why we're having the weight card and that's so that you can relax maybe that if you had everything that you wanted at the particular at this specific time you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to do this and maybe that's what your body needs so sometimes your higher self knows better than you okay so um you know go with the flow okay um okay so i feel that there's a character around you who's got a hard outer shell um they have um they're quite a vulnerable person and that's why they act harder than they are okay usually they are very um, it's like they seem aloof sometimes as if they are not um, not looking at you or not paying attention to you um, but they've got a deeper side so when you actually get to know them and get closer with them then you'll see that they have this um, lovely other energy okay this person's going to be in your life or this person may be already in your life but there's going to be a real strong reason Okay, why they're being brought up in your cards this uh, the beginning of the week. So some of you are going to be moving. I mean, this card it very much looks like moving, doesn't it? The Ten of Wands. So to me, this this looks like um, having to pack up something, having to move um, objects, literally, or maybe you've got to move on. Okay, in your life, maybe there's something that is happening that um, you feel. It's, it's like there's no, no change. So sometimes we have to cut our losses and move forward. Sometimes that's how it is. Okay. All right. So um, the middle of the week um, is then the Empress. Okay. So the Empress can sometimes mean uh, fertility. It can sometimes mean things coming to fruition. Um, so that could be a pregnancy announcement around you. Um, it could be, you know, a project coming to fruition where something that you've um, wanted to happen actually starts to happen. And when we had the hanged man, it could mean that uh, there's a delay, delay at the beginning of the week, but by the middle of the week, things start to come to fruition, okay, in your life. Okay, so um, you've also got the sun card. How wonderful is that? 
So this is where everything is um, working out wonderfully. Okay, and that will say there's perfect timing happening. Perfect timing. Everything is um, moving on and um, it's, there's a lot of a, a lighter feel to it, okay, where you are, um, it's like you're looking at your life and thinking, wow, um, you know, the universe didn't know what it was doing, okay, in the delay. And um, yeah, there's confidence as well. Lots of confidence. Okay. Lots of ideas coming in at the middle of the week as well. Lots of ideas. I see these kind of light bulbs here. Make sure that you've got a pen and paper ready to write down these wonderful ideas which sometimes are called downloads from the universe. Um, maybe you're bridging the gap between, you know, waiting for a project to finish and a new one to start. And maybe there's something really good that you need to do in the meantime, you know, to fit that in. Try not to let nightmares get in your way. So sometimes we worry about things that we can stop. Um, we don't have to worry about things. Sometimes we can switch our mind and say, come on, that's silly. Um, why am I doing that? The rebirth card. Um, I love this card in the Lightseers deck. It's just wonderful. It's new beginnings. So there's new beginnings happening at the end of the week. New beginnings, feeling of excitement. Um, everything is looking um, much clearer. Okay. But you've got to restart something. You've got to say goodbye to the old. You've got to restart the new. And sometimes that can be painful. Sometimes that's not what you want. Um, but um, sometimes we have to do this. We have to clear the decks. OK, so, um, you know, when another project is going well in your life, sometimes old projects stop because this is going to take over your life. The universe knows that that's going to get really busy. And so it slows down something else breaking free of any restrictions, maybe other people trying to tell you what to do, other people trying to judge you in some way. Um, you're not gonna be putting up with any of that. Um, try not to get confused. Try not to have other people trying to tell you what you, they think you should do. Give you that bad advice, maybe. Advice that they would do, but it's not, you're not them, they're not you. So the advice that you need to, be given and is, is from your higher self, not from anybody else. And they're saying, run with it, run with it, go for it. Don't look back. Okay. So that is for my daughter, Rhiannon. She's a Scorpio. So, all right. Who's next? You go. You go. Go. Or you want, you want me to go? Yeah. Be yeah. gentle. Oh, okay. Be gentle with Sheree. She's well. learning. Okay, so um, send lots of love out there for us. You can see it on her. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I, I'm just going to kind of do just a, a general do reading for like the week. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start off with, with a major arcana card. All right. Scorpio this week. Ooh, we're starting off with the full card. So this mean this is asking you to to take a, a leap of faith in an idea um, with a person uh, with a possible new employment. However, this may speak to you. You're being encouraged to to go ahead, step off. It'll be it'll be a, a decision um, that's in your highest and greatest good. Ah, okay. So this is this is the love card. And it says divine source is the idea that no person place or thing is your salvation only love itself. Ah, uh, all right. Now this card is asking you to receive healing. That's a beautiful, beautiful card. 
Yeah. Just look at that for a moment. Oh, that's a beautiful message in that. And then you're being <clears throat> giving a message from the penguins, which is authentic. Reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Break free from others' expectations. Just be yourself. And so I'm feeling that this overall reading for this week for Scorpio is that you have a lot of support behind this leap of faith that you're being asked to take. And in doing so, it, you are going to, it, it, it's going to lighten your heart, um, which will allow like even more opportunities to come in, especially when, you, when you're looking into the, the receiving this healing that's coming in then more, more do doors will be opening from that um, because you'll be in a place of, of gratitude. And so that's what I see for Scorpio this week. Oh, thank you. That was wonderful. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you wouldn't know that you're training. You really wouldn't. Really? No, no. you wouldn't. Very professional. This is the only the second time I've, I've done this I in, know. in my life. <laughs> Yeah, so doing very well. Oh, thank you. Okay, Vera. Okay, I am using this time the angel prayers. So they're little messages, but they can have a, even though the cards have a little message, it can be a big message because it can go deep. And for the for beginning of the week, for Scorpios, in a power, the Divine Father, Father, Divine Vada, thank you for let's for co-creating my world with me. And to me, I feel the first thing when I saw this card and felt it, it's like there have been so many ideas, there. and every time. When you get close, that it's going to open up. And I feel like a sun feeling like all your courage all of a sudden end up in your toes. But I feel it's all about teaching you <clears throat> that no matter how difficult it gets, you can go back up. You can. You have such a inner power, such inner strength towards the middle of the week. I'm going to ask everyone, count your blessings. And you can literally say, thank you, universe and angels for the blessings in my life. Because when you put that on the beginning of the week, all the things, oh, I'm going this way. I, every time that courage goes down, you forget what you already have in your life. It's very important to look at it because maybe you want it too fast. You didn't see the little things. And that could be, well, maybe as crazy, this is really tiny. Maybe you've been walking past it a thousand times, but pick it up because it can be the most beautiful thing that you can feel blessed with. So take notice of the small things. Towards the end of the week, I got to connect with music. Thank you, angels, for imp. Uh, inspiring me through music and well some may say I don't play an instrument well your heart is an instrument just maybe you walk around in the shop like do 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 you pick some little do 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 that is music too don't forget that that's also this all things and yes you should see the overall picture but Make sure you get to notice the tiny details. So like in the beginning of the week, 
when you look real close, it's difficult to see. But that could be like three, three, 33. It's also, as I know exactly what number it represents, but new beginning, strength, inner power. Everything comes in threes. Maybe you have to just say, okay, I have, I see that paper. I'm writing that. Just say, I just wrote that beautiful. I just wrote those words beautiful. I wrote those words beautiful. It's telling you yourself. You're good the way you are. And it can only be better. Because you got, with these cards, three cards together, it tells me, no matter where you're at, in your, in your life, or what you're doing, you got all that it takes to get everything lined up to go where it needs to go. That's what I got. Scorpio. Thank you. <clears throat> That's wonderful. Oh, thank you, Vera. Thank you, Sherry. So you're turn. going to lovely. <clears throat> <laughs> We're going to do the Pisces now, okay? So this is my sign and it's my, my mum's. So let's have a look. Oh, you put Scorpio back up. Oh, did I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not watching. I'm watching. I was watching the screen, trying to get everybody organised on the screen, not watching. There you go. Pisces. Pisces. Um, <laughs> there, there is um, get Sophia to the logos. I once woke up hearing myself laughing from a dream after calling my then boyfriend a bleeping nincompoop. <laughs> nincompoop. I that is an old one as well. Nink yes. Yeah. Enlighten me. If you're, if what you're does in, it mean? Uh, Nincompoo, it just means silly, you silly bugger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you would split it up, nin, com, and poop. Yeah. Nin, com, poop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Funny, isn't it? Okay, so Pisces. Pisces for this week um, coming up. <clears throat> Please look at the past week as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Please look at the past week and see what um your last week was okay so it's always good to look back as well okay so this is the 28th through to 3rd of april 2022 i have to say that continually say that because it's for our guides so that they know that it's not for now this is for coming up this week okay so we're starting off with the emperor okay so these are the light seers tarot if anybody is inquiring about those the light seers tarot um, so the Empress, this is to do with legalities or official things as well, um, because I'm feeling as if there's a lot of authority with this card. OK, so something in authority. It does look as if you're at loggerheads with something um, in authority, somebody. OK, something that you're trying to fight, something that you're trying to get um, get your point across. You know, it's all to do with justice. It's energy. Energy is justice. OK. There's also somebody who's playing mind games as well with you, um, which you're not going to appreciate, okay? It's like you don't want to play that game. It's like you're past it. You don't want that drama coming into your life. So it's like you're shutting it off or, or cutting it off somehow. Because we've got the, the deal with it, <laughs> the most sarcastic card in the deck, okay, that you've got here regarding that matter. Okay, so everybody knows it's the... Three of cups is the get to the heart of it and cut it off, the deal with it. Um, we've got it in a fun way, though. So this feels as if you're doing it in kind of a lighthearted way. Um, you're having a bit of a um, teasing moment. OK, so, yeah, for some of you, it's going to be a lighthearted feeling as if I've got to get justice. I've got to get somebody back for what they've done to me. And that might be in a joke way. OK, but for others, 
um, it may be serious. Just, I mean, there may be something to do with legal matters, official matters. Okay, so because there's a lot of us, you know, Pisces, um, you know, and who, who's going to be watching this, we have to incorporate kind of everybody who might be, um, you know, watching. Okay, so. All right, so the middle of the week, middle of the week, you've then got the Hermit card. Um, now, the Hermit card is, is um, in every card has um, a positive and a negative to it, which is why when I'm teaching, I don't do reverse readings. For the simple fact is when you are shuffling your cards, you're not turning any cards over. You're just shuffling the cards. So it all depends if someone's going to lay the card out like that or like this, you know, so you can give a quite a dark reading, okay, with the reversed cards. There's plenty of cards that have got light and dark in them. Okay, the Hermit is one. Um, the Hermit card can mean um, feeling as if you want to have more time alone or the, the, positive, the negative to it is that you're spending too much time alone, you need to get out. Okay, so the point is, is having the balance. That's the message of the card. Make sure you have the, 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 the balance of when you need to spend some time alone, do so, but don't become a hermit. Don't become enclosed and not want to be around other people. Sometimes we have to be lighthearted, okay? Um, you know, and that sometimes comes from the banter between people, being in other people's company. So the Eight of Pentacles is about study, learning, development, um, research maybe, um, looking at things in more detail, realizing what it is that you maybe wanna do with your life, okay? Um, you've got the Ace of Cups, which is to do with your heart being ready um, to find that special person or if you're in a relationship then this would be to, to strengthen that relationship um, to work out whether or not that relationship is the right relationship for you um, if it is then maybe it's worth putting some more effort in sometimes we had this discussion in the group <clears throat> and it was basically about Sometimes the, the romance goes in a relationship and it's, you know, we always say, well, we want the other person to, to be more, more romantic, but the other, the, that goes both ways. So sometimes it's like on a feminine perspective, women want their man to bring them flowers or this sort of thing. And, and I think this is what I'm seeing in this card, but sometimes we stop doing those little nice things as well for our partners. So like you might have put notes in their packed lunch or you or their pocket or, you know, you know, sent them a, a lovely message to say that you're thinking of them. And so it does go both ways. And I think this is important that it's actually come up in the reading. These things always happen for a reason. So. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to pass that on to you guys as well. Maybe it's worth putting that bit of effort in the middle of the week. By the end of the week, we have the devil card. Now, the devil card can mean mischievous naughtiness in any form. <laughs> um, so you can go where you want with that one. <laughs> um, but it may, that's worked, obviously. <laughs> what we said in the middle of the week's worked. Well done. <laughs> um, <laughs> or, or it could mean, you know, there's a, like there's extremes with the, with the tarot cards as extremes. Um, so the devil card can sometimes be the, the, the other side of things, which is the more darker side of things, is somebody around you isn't to be trusted, okay? There's somebody around you who may have different um, intentions, okay? Now, that is not going to apply to every Pisces out there, okay? This is what you, it's like. You have to, with the astrology readings, this is going to be applicable for for some of the group, but not the others. The others is more of a lighthearted naughtiness, okay? So um, you just have to be aware of that. Um, they're saying that there is something linked with having to make some emotional choices and decisions, okay? You've got two sevens, and sevens are always that crossroads time, deciding, you know, making a decision, realizing what direction you're gonna go and going with it, okay? So contemplation with ones, it's a doing card. So it's like, I've got to have a challenge or I've got a challenge in front of me that I'm going to focus on. Um, the seven of cups is, goodness, I've got to make a decision. 
is it that person, that person, or am I going to choose myself? Um, if I have got to stand by that person, in which case I'm going to upset that person, you know, or am I just going to back out completely and let everybody get on with it? I don't know. But they're all choices and decisions that you're going to need to be making. Okay, at the end of the week, Pisces. There you go. That's what I see. All right. All right. Okay. Pisces, what have you got as a general message for this week? Ah. <clears throat> so we've got the justice card. So actually, I'm really drawn to this intuitively um, because of her face down here, the reflection. Um, so I feel like you are, you are there, there's going to be some situation in your life where you're going to have to look at something in a balanced way. Um, it, it, that how you're feeling may not reflectively um, be what's for the highest and greatest good. Um, so meaning that it, you, you might have to balance between two perspectives um, and, and choosing, you know, um, maybe intuitively, um, you know, asking for guidance that is in the highest and greatest good uh, to keep you in that balance. So let's see what else, uh, let's see what animal, animal wisdom is coming in. Ah, horse, the freedom. Um, so it says your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. Ah, and then this is the courage card. And it says, let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. And let me see the healing message that's coming with this. All right. Pisces. Oh, this is beautiful. The artwork on these cards is beautiful. Um, this is reliable. So you are being asked to, you know, in, in this decision or situation that you have to weigh, um, you are, you are in tune with your, your intuition. You, you can trust that that is a reliable source of guidance for you, um, you, you have a lot of courage to, to uh, be confident, you know, in, in your decisions. Um, and, you know, and you are all about, you know, freedom. So in doing what is going to be best for you in maintaining um, your sovereignty, um, you know, maintaining your truth, and being confident that you have made a, the best decision. Really good. Thank you. <laughs> it's lovely. You're bringing in the animal cards and everything. It's lovely. Oh, you do really well, you. honestly. You should be very thank proud of yourself. Oh, thank you. You've come you. such a long way as well. It's like... <laughs> Uh, Vera knows exactly what it's like to be in your position. Yeah. Stick your neck out there and say, I'll give it a go. Because it's not easy. When you're reading for one person, you can tune in with that person's energy. Right. Tuning in with lots of people, as in, you know, lots of Pisces people. And there's different scales to it. So, yeah. When, when I started doing it, I was like, uh, 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 um, 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 um,
and it says take time to breathe. Well, take time to breathe. Maybe you have an extremely busy, busy schedule. You can hardly have a moment for yourself. But maybe a crazy thing, you go to the toilet. When you did there, just take a huge deep breath. That those few seconds, you're taking yourself out of the craziness of the whole day. And that's why it's, a, yes, on this card, it shows a chair with your arms up. And I hear literally say, thank you, universe. I breathe, and it's on the card, but I heard it. I breathe with ease, knowing you're here. So no matter what you're going through, and it could also be like, oh, I am in a drag. Every single day is the same thing. I wake up, drink my coffee or tea. Then, well, I play a little game. I do this. And still, you can take that moment to just step a little bit out. Take that moment to breathe. Just pull yourself out. Because when you literally like, oh, I got such a, a boring day, it will stay that way. You got to. And if you've never done that, take one second a day to start off. One second. And bring your mind to something you would love to do. Every day. And then two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. Eventually, you're training your mind to go a different way, to think different, to feel different. And you can reverse that to someone that has an extremely busy day, doesn't know to find a time to sit down, it's like running, running, running. And by the time they hit the pillow on the bed, yeah, my bed is on that side. That's why I'm pointing. They're like, oh my God, my mind is racing, racing, racing. I cannot sleep. When you take those few, train your mind every step. You want to change something, train your mind for a second or two. Breathe, just bring it down or push the boredom out because sometimes boredom can bring you bigger heights. And I've been a hermit for a while just to get myself to know myself because being on your own is the most heaviest job. If you don't have anyone to talk, it's one huge job because you're smacked in your face with what you're going through and what you need to change. And the only thing you have to do, breathe. Towards the middle of the week, when you are able to do these things, and even though, and I keep coming back, that one second, maybe two or three a day, that you can literally think about a healthy choice or healthy choices. You can uh, say, thank you angels for guiding me to make healthy decisions. And that could be, okay. Like when you're always on the remote, lay that remote on the table, on the other side of your coffee table. You need to, it's changed because usually you're on the couch, you have it next to you, close. But then you have to pick it up. That moment is also slowing you down. Just a second, a different comfort zone. It pulls you out, little steps. And that's going to bring you the biggest report, the reward. Peace and harmony. And it can be tiny, it can be big. But if you don't appreciate the little hidden changes... How can you pray, appreciate the big changes, positive changes for yourself? And yes, just can, you can just say, thank you, Raquel, for surrounding my life in an harmonious light. Because sometimes 
it doesn't have to be actually harmony and peace, but just a light that you feel a moment of peace and harmony, cherish it, embrace it, acknowledge it, because that's how you can start changing the way you live in, on any level. Day to day, boredom, or not knowing when to sit down. And everything in between. That can those little steps can help you change your life around. And that's what I got for Pisces. Thank you. Thank you, Vera. That's um just changing my view thing on there. Okay. <clears throat> so we're doing Cancerians now. Okay, so this is my other daughter, Rhiannon. We're all water signs. <laughs> so, okay. So what we're going to do is, it's really bizarre. I put it on speak of you, but then I don't come up on speak of you. It's really bizarre. <laughs> so uh, I have to leave it like this for me, for you guys. Oh, I'm you are. You speak. are. It takes a little while. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Don't forget, it's delayed. Oh, yeah, well, I was looking at that, though. On Zoom? Yeah. Yeah, but in Zoom, it's different, and we keep seeing each other. It's only for... On Zoom, we only see the green line around. All right. Okay. All right, so this is for Cancerians now. Okay, so Cancerians, let's have a look and see how your week's going to be. Okay. All right, so we're starting off this week, Cancerians, with the Fool. Okay. Okay, so the Fool card. And um, in the light spheres, it's just wonderful. She's got a crystal in her hand. She's got the flower of life there. She's kind of leaning back saying, the universe will catch my fall. Okay, so that's total trust that you are going in the right direction. You're at the right, right place, the right time for the universe to make things happen in your life. And it's exciting. So get excited. Please get excited about your future, about your life. To go, it's like um, how many times have we stepped forward before we know what was actually going to be happening. So I have no idea how this is going to go, but my feeling is we've got to go for it. You know, my feeling is this is it. Okay, so that's the stage you're at for the beginning of the week, Cancerians, okay? Um, there's going to be structure, a lot of structure, okay? You've got two fours. Fours are like pillars. So the pillars, the, the structure, okay? So this is to do with your money this is to do with your um home this is to do with your um your finances okay this is to do with that and i'm seeing that there is a bit of saving up to do okay so something that you really really want but you are having to save up you're having to do something okay in order to to get that done okay to get what it is that your wishes to, to be done okay there's a little bit of feeling of fed up though OK, so it could be that the savings aren't going to um, build up in time or that as soon as you've started to save up, there seems to be something's gone wrong. OK, and then you're having to um, pay the money out for that, which is going to affect you and make you feel a bit fed up. So um, I feel that you're going to have to get creative. OK, getting creative with money, getting creative with, you know, I mean, how many times have you kind of gone to your wardrobe and think, I don't wear that, I don't wear that, I don't wear that, I don't wear that. Why am I keeping it? Um, so it's like sometimes we have to shed the load, okay, and to declutter. And somebody, you know what they say, somebody else's clutter is somebody else's treasure, so, or something like that. Um, maybe it's time to get rid of um, the old stuff, okay, and recycle, okay. Um, by the middle of the week, you've got the magician, which means that you have the power um, to change your life, okay? It is in your hands. 
the universe will supply you with everything you need, but sometimes you have to look out for those coincidences. Look out for the quinkly dinks that you don't, that you might pass by and that you think, oh, you know, what, what did that, was the universe trying to tell me something then? Or was that just my imagination? You know, no, the universe is trying to tell you something. Watch out for the signs and go forward. What is it that you've wished for? Sometimes we have to be careful what we wish for though, because sometimes what happens then is we get what we want, um, but actually we worded it wrong. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's like uh, the other week I said, to the, I said to the universe, oh, I could do with a week off. I could, um, so that I could do my arts and crafts and my jewelry making and my pyramids and everything else. But Council Clear delete that, everyone up there. Um, but what happened is I didn't say, but could I still get some money from somewhere? So, of course, being self-employed, the money kind of dried, dried up <clears throat> that week. And I was like, great. <laughs> so you have to be careful what you wish for because you will get it. So another way of saying that is, can I have some paid time off? Um, I'm going to have some paid time off um, so that I can catch up with my orders and my jewelry making and things like that so um yeah so you've got to word it your own way okay so this this is this is about nurturing i mean i've got the ace of pentacles it's in your hands you know that new project that new idea that new um you know money um system you know something that is going to be concentrated on is going to come into its rooting okay it's taking root now OK, so this could be promotion, extra responsibility within a job. It can be um, training, you know, um, branching out within your job, um, you know, do it, starting something new, even self-employment. OK, maybe earning some money from those extra things. It's new money. OK, um, then you have the eight of wands, which is rushing ahead. Um, there's nothing stopping you. There is nothing stopping you from getting what it is that you want. So get on with it, okay? Um, get on with it. So um, at the end of the week is the black and white, the chariot, okay? The chariot, sometimes we have to be strict with ourselves. It's like, I'm going in this direction. Oh, but there's something shiny and sparkly over there, shiny and sparkly. No, we've got to go in this direction if it's shiny and sparkly. Sometimes we have to be very, very, um, sometimes mean with ourselves. It's like, we can have a rest after this. We can go and follow the shiny, sparkly stuff, but only after we've completed this task. You'll feel so much better with yourself, okay? Your inner child will be happy because you'll then have the time, you know, guilt-free to play, okay? So but sometimes we have to be um, strict, okay? Sometimes the, the chariot can mean um, um, issues with cars, going somewhere, okay? Having to, you know, travel somewhere it can be, Kind of, you know, when you map um, and it's like, you know, we don't use maps anymore, do we? It's always twat navs. Um, so it's like we've got to kind of like say, right, I'm going to go here and then here and then here. So there's something to do with some travel plans that you're having to get organised with as well. Be careful of people around you at the end of the week who are not quite to be trusted. Um, I do feel that there is somebody particularly around you who, you know, you're looking at them, you're thinking you're not as... You're not as nice as you seem to be. There seems to be something else, another agenda that you want. Now, it could be that you're spotting this person not necessarily in your life. It could be somebody who is, you know, it's a friend of a friend. Do you see what I mean? Or it's a new, somebody's new partner and you've got that horrible feeling inside. Um, you know, and it's horrible. Do, what do you do? Do you actually say to that person, um, hey, you know, do you fully trust your new partner or what what are you going to do so you know sometimes we could just ask innocent questions and say um how well do you know them you know what have you been doing you know how did you meet that's a, you're asking an innocent question but it's kind of getting them to maybe think a little bit just what I mean do they can they trust them enough okay but without kind of being that big meanie person you know um, you're going to be walking away from something or someone as well. We've got the eight of cups and it's always like, well, my best isn't good enough for you. So clearly I'm going to back off. All right. So 
sometimes when you're always being criticized, when your best just keeps being, you know, not best enough, not good enough for somebody, sometimes you need to say, all right, I'll go and spend my time elsewhere then. Um, so that's the letting go card. Okay, the I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not playing those games. I'm done. Okay, so um, that's what I see for Cancerians. That's funny because I have cancer in my moon. And so that chariot card is so applicable for me today. I'm going to have to focus and try so hard because there's some research and stuff that I want to do for my light language group. And I have to put the blinders on and, and stay completely focused because I will be distracted by all the bright and shiny things like constantly. So <laughs> I was laughing when you, when you brought that card up. <laughs> yeah. It's hard, isn't it? It's, it's it hard. is. You know, yes. there's always loads of other things that we want to do. And Greg in the chat, let's say hello to everybody. Obviously we've got love, my sexy husband there. Um, we've got Claudette. Hi Claudette. I actually met Claudette. We put a face to the name. She was in spirit chat. So I hope she comes again. That was lovely to see her. She said, good evening. Um, Greg said, but I want to follow shiny and sparkly. Well, <laughs> you can, but sometimes we have to get the job done first. <laughs> <laughs> so um, By the way, I did send you both a picture. <clears throat> Pardon? I did send you both a picture. And I can't explain it. Oh, is it funny? Okay. Is it naughty? I didn't think of it until I saw what I did. All right. I'll have a little look then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Um, so this is over to you, Sherry. All right. Okay. Well, um, Cancerians, you've got the justice card as well. However, I am being drawn to this part of the card. So it's almost like you're this balancing that you have to uh, work on this week for cancers. Um, it's, it's not really going to be that hard of a decision. Um, you're going to feel pretty confident and, you know, knowing that this was a pretty easy decision in, in having to weigh the situation. Uh, so yeah, that's interesting. Okay. And the animal message is the lion, the higher calling. It says you have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. Oh, that was real nice. Not, I feel like I've got to show that picture again. That's lovely. All right. And all right and this card is individuality and so it's every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school right. healing card coming out uh, this is sincere relationships okay and um, this reading I'm feeling a lot has to do with with a relationship situation because you have the two there you have the pair of the lions here and this partnership here, but then you have the individuality card. So I feel like maybe this message in here asking you to balance, uh, maintaining a healthy balance between, you know, a relationship and yourself. Well, yeah. All right. That's what I, I have for cancer. Two, 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 two. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Was it cards two? came in double. Oh. Yes. Oh. Over to you, Vera. Yes. So for Cancerians, 
it and i hear the word accept acceptance i don't i think some have problem accepting unconditional love the divine mother thank you divine mother for helping me to give and receive the love i deserve and i it came out and i feel some of Cancerians have trouble accepting unconditional love. But since we're everything is energy, we're all energy, animals are energy, and the most purest form of unconditional love is what you receive from an animal, from a dog or bird or whatever, whatever is close in your life. You don't question an animal un about their unconditional love. But we do with humans, uh, with other persons. And the challenge for, uh, for those people are to get past it. To accept when someone tells you, you're such a beautiful soul, you're such a beautiful person. That can be said from the heart. And I know it's hard because in your mind, it's only words. But pick, look really good behind it and feel. Breathe through it and you will feel if the person that is saying it to you is 100% sure and honest. You can feel it. If you feel, well, I don't trust the person, usually they are just, yeah, they can be just saying it. But try to not overload it and push everyone that says, you're doing good. Yeah, right. No, you are doing good. Accept it. Okay. Even though you don't believe it, but just accept it. That's the beginning of getting past it. Towards the middle of the week, but in fact, it's going to be more like about the whole week because every single breath you take, every action, every knockbacks or someone that looks a little bit like, there's a lesson. Because that person might be just very sensitive to energy and you have a moment like, Oh, I don't want to see anyone. Get out, out of my way. And they're like, well, maybe that person is also so sensitive. So towards the middle of the week, this card came out. Study and learning. Thank you, angels, for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day. Instead of seeing it as a punishment, what you get on your path, Go at it as if it is you're studying because your life, studying your, your life's past about what you do, how you do it. That's learning and study. That's also, it doesn't have to be the books. It is just day to day. You wake up and then you think, oh my God, you got out of bed. I should have stayed in bed. Well, maybe you should have, sometimes you can't, but why not when you have the opportunity, just get back in bed because you need to care for yourself because if you don't care for yourself, unconditional love, how can someone else do that? And I love it. I just picked up this crystal. It has six points on it. And I love it when that comes back in the card. Focus your mind. Thank you, angels, for helping me to focus on my priorities. And if you have trouble doing that yourself, just pick something up. Just a tiny object. And practice one, two, three.
three seconds a day or twice a day. Just focus on it up and stop. Oh. Try it again. They are You're frozen? training yourself to have a good focus. Or am I frozen? Uh -oh. No, nope. I hear you. You're just, just slowed. So if you have trouble focusing on one point, you have maybe a thousand things you think, think about. Well, study, learning, every day you are studying. When you have trouble focusing your mind, try to, even if it is for one second, you can hold it for one, maybe two seconds. Don't see it as failure. You did it those two seconds. So that's a success. And if you see the success for those two seconds, it will become two. It will become four, eight. And it keeps on multiplying until you... But that way, you have pulled yourself out of that overwhelming way of thinking about thousand things. Some need to write it down. Some just, it's all about, yeah, retraining, learning. And that's not the books, but how who you are, unconditional love. Every day is a learning day. And, you can, and train yourself to focus. And that's what I got for Cancerians. Lovely. Yes, thank you, Vera. I love the, the last part of that reading. It's beautiful. It's lovely. Thank you. Thank you, girls. It, it's, um, it's nice. We're all working really well together, aren't we? Yes, yes, this has been fun. Okay. And again, the fun part, Ellie picks that part of the reading about overall. Mm. You pick about the healing part, and I'm picking up about the counsel part, counseling part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's everything for everybody, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, um, so far, so... Uh, yeah, so far we've done the um, all the water signs, uh, so Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and we're now going on to the Earth signs. So we we'll start with Taurus, and then we will be um, going to Virgo, and then Capricorn. Okay, I just wanted to say a few things about what's going to be happening this week. Okay, so obviously on Tuesday we have our um, date night. Also, Greg has a premiere starting up um, in the beginning of, um, you know, before we go on date night. So there's going to be a premiere there. Um, so um, keep an eye out on In5D uh, YouTube. And um, wanted to point out also that we, it, it's my Patreon um, meetup, okay, on this Thursday, the 31st of March. It's always the last Thursday, or I try to make it the last Thursday of every uh, month so you can join for as little as 86 pence okay if you wanted to um, and join in it's a month so and join in with the patreon um readers we just do readings for each other and um and catch up and everything so um we've got a paranormal investigation on friday the 1st of april uh paranormal investigation that's at the bell inn in uh shepherd's well okay so if you fancy uh, finding out your skills um, on picking up um, how to, um, you know, um, use things like we had a table walking across the floor um, in one of our paranormal investigations, literally. Um, wow. Yeah, so <laughs> it was pretty amazing. And in the end, we had the hands up this way. So this this part of our hands was on the table and it's still doing it. So um, so it's pretty amazing. So can't guarantee that's going to happen every time, but, um, you know, it's exciting stuff. So it's £20 per person. If anybody would like to come along, let me know. Uh, we meet up at the Bell Inn at 10.30pm that night and we'll go on till late, you know, 2am maybe later. So 
But yeah, um, Saturday the 2nd um, is a psychic fair. It's not run by me. I'm attending it for Serena um, from the Magic Shop in Ramsgate. Um, so it's going to be the Newington Community Centre, uh, Princess Margaret Avenue, Ramsgate, um, CT 12 6HX. OK, so if you wanted to turn up, it's from 1 p.m. Um, and I'll be doing readings there if anybody wants to come down. There's a cafe there. Um, it's a really beautiful crystals. Um, um, if anybody's never been to the magic shop in Ramsgate, you're missing out. Um, it's literally a shop packed with crystals. So you can imagine the energy when you come in. Um, you feel this energy and so many packs of tarot cards, loads of pagan bits and pieces. So, um, so yeah, there's um, palmist there as well. Really good palmist. And um, yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to say. And, um, you know, our M5D conference, we're still looking for some people who would like to join in with the conference. Um, and that's the 29th of May, Sunday, the 29th of May. And um, we've got a fledgling um, reading day <clears throat> on M5D um, on the, yeah, it's coming up in a couple of weeks, but I'll let you know. Um, sooner than that, I'll let you know more information. So, oh, so it's not the fourth. <clears throat> it's the fourth. The date. Yeah. Oh, yes. it is the fourth. Oh, okay. I'd scribbled it out and I didn't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. I'm pleased. Eh? <laughs> yeah, fourth of April. So, if anybody would like a reading with the fledgling readers, then please let me know. Okay. So, um, so this is for Taurus now. Okay. I need a taller. <laughs> taller cards so that you can see there you go Taurus okay so let's have a look see what's going on with Taurus energy here okay all right so we've got the star which is to do with your dreams and your wishes okay so following your dreams following your wishes um making sure that you 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 do follow yours because sometimes we we are supportive to everybody else's we, we push them forward and say, come on, you go for it, you go for it. And we forget sometimes to actually say, do that to ourselves, to our inner child and say, what do we want to do? We should be getting out there and doing a bit more. OK, so um, make sure that you follow your wishes. OK, now this card, um, the Ten of, what, ten of Wands, um, it basically is clearly moving, isn't it? movement moving so for some of you it could be that you're moving home or you're getting ready to move home or you've made a decision to move home um move from where you are it could be also that you are just moving and getting your life shifted forward um sometimes that's a little bit too fluffy though um so my cards don't need to do fluffies so this would have to be you know you're literally packing up and doing something you know shifting your energy forward um you know, and your things, okay? So there's obviously something that you're doing. We've got the um, hoarding of money, okay? So sometimes that's a good idea to save money for uh, pentacles, it's a good idea to save money. But there's other times that we need to know when to kind of um, splash out, when to appreciate other people by, you know, sharing a bit of gratitude, does that make sense for them? Or when to kind of hold it back because you need it more. Um, so, you know, the four of pentacles, you've got to decide what you're doing regarding your finances. You know, it could be that that's part of your decision to do with moving. Um, is it going to be worthwhile? We've got to do the pros and the cons, okay, to do with moving. Okay, in the middle of the week, you've got the rebirth card. So that means things coming to an end, new things beginning, um, doors closing, another doors opening, so to speak. OK, so it's it's sometimes where you are kind of reevaluating your time, reevaluating your energy. OK, um, it, you know, sometimes it's like I'm spending a lot of time doing that when I could be doing this and maybe I need to do this rather than this. OK, so sometimes we have to shift it. Does that make sense to change things up a little bit? Follow where the universe is taking you. Um, the universe will give you a sign if you're not supposed to go down a certain route. You know that the, the, the universe kind of goes, hold on a minute. You need to go um, back to back to the road that you was on. OK, um, listen out for those changes. OK, and go with it. OK, lots of ideas and downloads coming your way. So look out for those. 
um, those light bulb moments where it's like, oh my God, that's a good idea. Um, why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> what am I doing with my, my time and my life? Um, here's my life path. It's right shining in front of me. Okay, so um, don't forget to write down your ideas. Don't forget to look into things or research things. Um, you know, don't just trust what's on that um, BBC or what, trust what's on the telly. Start looking at what is really happening. You'll be pleasantly surprised, but you may start off with being shocked. Okay, um, there is a war going on in the background. And it is, I'm not just talking about what's happening in Ukraine. Okay, I'm talking about um, the war between light and dark. And you're on the right side of it. You guys are on the right side. All you have to do is to keep positive and keep shining your light saying the world is going to be better than it has been. Okay, that's all you have to do. So if you've got any ideas maybe coming through about how to do that, um, what to do, okay, in order to, you know, do your bit, make a difference. We're all here to make a difference. What are you doing to make a difference? And if you feel as if something's nagging you to make a difference, then now's the time to make that difference. Sometimes we get these nagging feelings, okay, I'm missing something, I've forgotten something, what am I supposed to be doing? Um, there's always that little lightness, just sort of mean that light energy in the background and that keeps kind of like coming on and saying, it's not so bad. You know, perhaps you stop worrying about it and just do it. Once it's done, it's done, isn't it? Sometimes we all have to do things we don't wanna do. Okay, and so that card just means that you're probably spending too much energy doing that and not enough energy finding that positive to what's going on middle of the week. End of the week, you've got the sun, happiness, brightness, boost of confidence. Um, something's coming along to really lift you um, out of wherever you are and onto that positive, um, positive pathway. Um, you've got the seven of wands, which is again, a, one of those gamble cards. It's like crossroads. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, with the seven of wands, it's about your um, inspiration, it's about your um, excitement. Um, and it, it's sometimes it's like getting to that point where you can either carry on going forward on that plan, on that goal, um, you know, that uh, project that you've been doing. Um, is it time to call it a day and say, I've done enough? Or do you want to go to that next level? Do you want to take it to, you know, maybe it's a bit of a gamble, um, and, and maybe there's there's something else that you're supposed to be doing. But um, I do see that sometimes that inspiration comes to you. All you've got to do is just keep looking for those signs, like I've said before. OK, um, this to me says there's a, a feminine person around you, somebody who's feminine. They're bubbly. They know what they want in life. And that person is going to be of a great influence, a great help with lots of knowledge and they're gonna be able to um, help you to reorganize things if you're needing that, or to give you that kick up the bum that you need as well. So there you go. That's what I see for Taurus. Oh, thank you. Cause I'm Taurus. So that was beautiful, ah. absolutely beautiful, perfect reading. So thank you very much. Good. All right. All right, fellow Taurians, let's see what's going on this week. What to expect this week. All right. Oh, then we got the judgment card. So this is letting ourselves become free. You know, we we can remove the 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 self-inflicted shackles and we don't need to, you know, be held back by you know some of the, the own restrictions <laughs> we put upon upon ourselves. Torians, uh, Torians can be very stubborn, you know, very practical. Um, and it's always a fine balance of being practical and being stubborn to a certain point, but then overstepping that and, and it, it becomes an issue. And, and so there's, there's a time and place for everything <laughs> and just don't, just don't overdo it. 
And I didn't even have to shuffle because this card keeps coming up on the very top of, of the deck. So I was like, I wonder who the, this, this card is for. <laughs> That's for Taurus. So this is the penguins and they are about authenticity. It says, reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Break free from others' expectations and just be yourself. And ah, this guy, oh, this artwork on this is really pretty. It's ease. And it says, it's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. And, and I know Torians, we can, we can love passionately, but we have to remember to allow, allow that, that same passion and, and unconditional love uh, in for ourselves as well as giving it out. All right, and this is oh, this is beautiful, beautiful artwork on this. And I'm being drawn to this number seven, and this says reawaken. And just look at the card for a moment. Yeah, it's, it's when, when we release those restrictions, you know, it's, it's going to be easy, <laughs> easy for us, us to, to reawaken, you know, to, to our authentic selves. Yes. So that's, that's what I have for Taurus. Um, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Over to you, Vera. Yes. Well, what I have for the Taurians is going to kick off from the angel prayer decks. So they are angel prayers. So they can be your angel guides, your spirit guides. And the first card, so the beginning of the week, it says focus your mind. And you can simply start by thank you angels for helping me to focus on my priorities. And um, yeah. Two colors for me pop out. That's the red one and that one, the light green. So basic security and healing. So that helps me when you focus on what is important for you. Take the breaks, take the, the rest. Uh, what is it that you need so you can literally start shining and shine so bright that people, well, I have them close, literally have to do it like this <laughs> to be able to look at you. <laughs> because you have so much light. And when you look at the first picture, it's projected about all the chakras. Or aura. Oh, these are aura colors. Because chakra has seven. This has six. So these are colors of the aura. And when you focus and sit and just see how those colors, instead of have a grayish color over it, that can mean someone is standing in your aura or whatever. Just imagine how bright they can shine. So you can push anything that is grayish or not the original bright color. You can push it out. And... Archangel Michael wants you to really focus also on the fact you are protected towards the middle of the week. And I, 
I hear the words, you're going to feel it, that you are protected. And then you can say, thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. Because when you, maybe, when you feel uncomfortable, well, if you don't know what it is to feel protected, to feel that bright protective light around you, it can feel like, oh, someone is coming in, I have an incoming or whatever. It could be just Archangel Mike protecting you for everything, helping you to feel what it, it's like to feel protection no matter where you are. And towards the end of the week, I hear the words, don't forget that it, the chances are highly likely that you are one of the peaceful warriors. And that's Archangel Ariel. Thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with Peace. I read power. And that's also because a peaceful warrior, for, warrior, you don't have to be on the front line. Say there's an actual war. You're standing in front and literally have to. You don't have to. Just stand there in peace. Can be so powerful. And those that want to knock you over are the ones that are scared of you. So when they get angry because you're standing just peaceful, peaceful, saying your mind, standing your ground in peace, and they cannot handle it, think about it's about them and not about you. Because being peaceful is your strength, your inner strength. You get the things done. You don't have to scream it off the top of the roofs. Sometimes you do, sometimes it's wise, but you don't have to. It's not needed. So that's what I got for Torians. Well, thank you, Vera, that was lovely. Thank You're you. welcome. <clears throat> Aww. That's lovely, Vera. High five, everybody. We're doing a good job. I thought I'd better put the... Um, I, I better put <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> thing on there as well. Sometimes oh, oh, little, yeah. It should be a little bit, but now you only see... Well, if I do that, March. you're not going to see me. Yeah, that's... <laughs> you made it a little too big, girl. I know. I don't think that works. But we need it done. This is why I need to get StreamYard. That's what I need to do, because you can have a ticker tape going at the bottom. So. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. What? Your hubby made you also. I know, you can I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I, I think I want my own. <laughs> because I, I just, I'm no good at, at using someone else's account. And I'm getting myself in a tizzy even thinking about it. <laughs> so it's like, I'll talk you through it. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna get myself, I think. Yeah, yeah. You just have to log in, make an account, and that's it. Yeah, that's what I that's what I would feel more comfortable with. <laughs> Honestly, me and technical this lady, this lady has got me through so much. Um, I would not be doing what I'm doing now if it wasn't for her. And for Greg. Greg's very patient as well with me. That um, there's times that I've gone, I can't do it, I can't do it. <laughs> I've seen her in a total panic. <laughs> and then eventually Not she really. remembered everything and we went live. Yeah. <laughs> and you are a technology whiz, Vera. Yes. Yeah. Part, part of it is my uh, dad whispering. Yeah. The Greg's teaching me things every day. I mean, he's taught me how to find fonts. Fonts. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> does Mary Jane do you want to come in Mary Jane do you want to come in and say hello <clears throat> come and join us 
It's in the class group. Yeah, the link's in the class group. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do Virgo now. Um, so Virgos, beginning of the week for Virgos. And this is the 28th of March through to the 3rd of April, 2022. Okay, so we've got um, the hanged man. So the hanged man is always where sometimes you have to look at things from a different angle. Sometimes you have to be patient. I even don't like the word patience. Um, sometimes you have to be inventive with your time, uh, trying to be in two places at once or trying to do, you know, things, you know, that you, um, you know, that you know that you can't actually get around to do, but you're trying to do it anyway. So, yeah, it's all about kind of like the patience. Slow down, center yourself um, and become more patient um, with yourself and with others. That's what the kind of hangman means there. OK, so you've got um, some choices to make, emotional choices. Got the Seven of Cups there. OK, so emotional choices, having to make decisions, having to choose. And that could be choosing between um, one family member and another, um, choosing between your sanity and somebody else. Uh, sometimes this person's driving me crazy. I just can't be around them anymore. <laughs> I always say, I've told Vera, stick them in the freezer. Um, stick their name in the freezer. And if you want to be invisible to them, um, then you have to do their name backwards. Now, this doesn't hurt them. It doesn't harm them. What it does is it just means that you won't bump into them anymore, that they will become a figment of their imagination. There's something that you won't be on their mind. They won't bug you anymore. Um, it's a good way of doing it. So sometimes um, there's emotional choices that you need to make and how, to, how are you going to make them? OK, um, sometimes to choose one person, it upsets another. OK, um, so and, you know, financially, there seems to be something that you are um, worried about. It's like I'm, I'm so worried about money. I'm so worried about money. Council clear to leave that. I'm not universe. You have to be careful what you say, even in jest. OK, you have to be careful because the universe is very literal. OK, it will give you what it is that you say in. Um, so this person does look a little bit kind of like worried here. But what this person doesn't realise is they've got the key to get into this door. They've got everything there that they need. OK, they're just not seeing it. So are you not seeing your potential? Are you not seeing a way of earning money or a way of getting money that you have overlooked? Maybe money that's owed to you that you need to look out for. OK. It's by the middle of the week, got a little bit of a hiccup in the middle of the week because uh, we have the tower. OK, so the tower card can sometimes mean eruptions. Um, that could be emotional eruptions. That can mean um, all sorts of eruptions. Sometimes it can just mean that you're having a clear out and there's a bit of chaos in your house. So you might be clearing out cupboards or drawers. Uh, you might be reorganizing things and you know, it's not kind of um, nothing's fitting. Oh, goodness. Now I've got to buy a new piece of furniture because that's not right. So it could be chaos. OK, sometimes the tower card comes up if you've just moved because there is um, mess everywhere. If you're having a new kitchen put in or, you know, you're having something else done and um, the tower card would come up. Now, it all depends on what cards are with it to, to say, you know, how this is going. OK, now you do have it with the. It's the five of cups and you can see she's a little bit fed up there. Okay, she's a bit fed up. She's saying, well, what's the point? You know, it's all gonna turn out bad anyway. You know, woo, woo, woo. So sometimes we're in a Debbie Downer um, energy and sometimes we need to kind of say, do you know what, it's not all that bad. The worst, what is the worst scenario and have I dealt with that in the past? If the answer is yes, then you can deal with it. Okay, sometimes we need to kind of stop being so dramatic and start kind of living our life um, with the positives rather than the negatives okay um, because too much of the negatives will bring more of that okay more disruption it's like it's a it's a magnet okay so if you're positive you're going to magnetize positivity to you if you're full of gratitude then you're going to get more to be grateful for see how it works um, so there seems to be a bit of a ugh, kind of energy there okay um and 
I do feel, oh, Stephanie is coming in. Um, so there is somebody here, okay, around you. Um, this is my Virgo card in the Night Seers um, Tarot, which and Virgos, they like to plan ahead. They like to, oh, we're doing Virgo as well. They like to look ahead. They like to see where they're going. They are planners. They are organization people. Um, so this is what I feel that you're going to be doing. So the towel card won't stick for very long. Do you see what I mean? Because of all this energy, this positive energy. So look out for this person who may be trying to get you out of the situation that you're in. And the end of the week, we have the world card. Um, so, you know, like I said, it's not staying, is it? Um, so positivity is raining through. The world card, one of the best cards in the deck. It basically means that everything is working out far better than you could have dreamed of. Everything is moving on really well, okay? Lots of excitement around this, lots of good energy. You're literally running, okay, ready for your next quest. It's like, you know, when you're a big kid and you can't wait, okay? There's gonna be lots of reminiscing about the past, how things used to be. Um, sometimes the past, um, we, can't re we can't go back, so we have to sometimes, if we had something good going on in the past, then let's try and recreate it in the now. Um, it might not be in the same circumstances. There might not be the same actors that were around you in the past. And you've got to kind of uh, look out for those new energies. But um, all in all, you know, you've got the world card. What are you waiting for? It's all good. Um, so there you go, the Virgos. Well, can I also say hi, Stephanie? Hello. Hi, Steph. <laughs> I do want to say, can we send some healing out to um, Lisa, who is in the chat here? She's not feeling very well. So Lisa loves Star 22. Um, can we all sh sign, um, shine some healing energy towards um, Lisa? Okay. There's also Lee. Hi, Lee. So there you go. Over to you. Um, Cherry. All right. All right. So Virgo, let's see what we have here for you for this week. Ah, all right. So the hermit crab, the hermit, the hermit crab. I don't know why with that Freudian slip <laughs> came out. Uh, maybe there's, there's more to that. Okay. So the hermit card, um, it can mean usually one of two things, either it is time for some self-isolation, some self-reflection, some time alone, or it's a sign that you have spent too much time alone and it's time to, to kind of come back up, come out and, and, uh, and, and socialize again. So let's see what the other cards um, have to say about that. Because I, with the crab, the first thing I think of a crab is um, you know, like a side sidestepping, you know, a, a situation or, or avoiding conflict. Um, so let's see if something else comes out about the, the crab slip I had. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so you've got the lion card as well. And this was the lion, the higher calling you have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and for your tribe. And this is the courage card. This, come, this has come up before. Um, but actually, I'm very drawn to this white dove right here. So um, let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. And let's see if something comes back about that bird, too. Looks like you know, I'm seeing it as a dove. So a lot of animal energy. And this is uh, the boundaries card. 
and some beautiful artwork on that. And there is, I'm drawn to the peacock in there. Um, so, so there's a lot of bird energy. Um, so th for me, that means they're like taking flight. Um, you know, birds are, are up in the sky so that they're able to take a higher, um, get a higher perspective on things. So I'm wondering if it's possible that um, in either needing some, I feel like it's needing reflection more than isolation so much um, that you need to, to strengthen some of your boundaries, be, be courageous in, in having to stand up for that um, in respect, you know, for yourself and for your highest good um, that, that maybe there's a situation that you need to reflect on and take the higher perspective of having to take some steps um, to, to strengthen your boundaries, to um, stand in a lot of self-love and, and self-respect in, in looking at, at whatever it is that you're reflecting upon. And yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's all a good thing. It's, it's, that's a positive reading because the the outcome of that will will do you a, a lot of good oh. okay <laughs> all right that's what i have for virgo thank you very much and uh, how are you stephanie i'm good i'm good um i pulled a card for virgo oh no you know, I'm going to give it a go. I'm baby stepping. So um, I pulled the moon. The moon is about reflections. So reflecting mm -hmm. on things. And you had crustaceans as the hermit crab. Oh. So this looks like a, <laughs> a lobster. <laughs> so to me, um, I was trying to, I had the phone. I have to turn, I have both things on. Um, yeah, it's about reflecting on things and um, and um, taking a step back. And as you as uh, you were saying, uh, birds came up a lot earlier today as well. So yes, you're getting a different perspective on things. Yeah, mine's well, mine are going to be short. Hey, to the point. Well yeah. done. I'm very proud of you. Yay! Thank you. Good for you. Good for you. And Vera, what do you have, lovely lady? Well, I got for the Virgos, and two cards came out already. And still for Virgo, I feel it a little different. This is more from a calm energy. And even though they ask you, take time to breathe. Thank you, angels. I breathe with ease knowing you're here and even though if you feel calm and connected those are words I get, I'm getting it can be very the connection can deepen when you just take that breath so you can feel say the loved ones you're missing stepping closer uh, embracing you they might Maybe someone always laid a hand on your shoulder, rubbed it like this, just to let you know they are there, they're for you, they're helping you, and that wherever they are, they are good. They're in a good place, or even, and I hear the word, they're in a better place. And some of those loved ones, I feel all of a sudden, this is also a little bit of mediumship. Some of the loved ones want, if you ever thought of picking up an instrument, musical instrument, don't linger on it. Try it. Because they would love to see you connect with music. For some, is that just humming? For some, is singing? And for some, is well, maybe an instrument that keeps popping in your mind or when you start searching for different uh, instruments, every single time you see that musical instrument and 
show up right in front of you. That's a sign. That's a sign from the loved ones that want you to try it out. Maybe the instrument is for you, but if you don't try it, you don't know if you're capable of doing it. And yeah, I it it feels like there there are a couple of loved ones that want to tell Virgos, some Virgos, we are here, we are here to help you. And towards the end of the week, funny when I just had talked about getting the instrument, and it says express your creativity. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator because every person is a creator you create your life you create what you need in your life what you want and if you need to listen to music or to hum or whatever to feel like you're meditating go for it because and i hear the question what are you scared of are you scared of that it triggers emotion? Because when you start playing music and your inner voice comes out, it might be, well, maybe you were told as a kid, no, you're not going to play that instrument because we don't have the funds for it. It's too expensive or whatever. Well, maybe go somewhere. Try it out, see, find out, just find out if that idea you had as a child still fits you. And it might trigger to get another type of instrument because you have changed all over the years. And then all these emotions of, I was not allowed to do it you can heal because i think these cards are also about healing some really deep inner feelings of rejection and that's what i got for virgo thank you that's perfect so Thank you. I'm so pleased that you're joining us, Stephanie, and sharing, you know, Vera's, um, Vera's been doing this for many weeks now, haven't you? Um, but, um, yeah, it's always nerve-wracking to start with. It really yep. is. <laughs> um, I'm not, not underestimating how scary it is. So, <laughs> find a lot of love. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Way out of my comfort zone, but I keep pushing myself. Good. Yep. That's why I say every class, if you push yourself just that little bit further, um, you know that you're going to keep progressing. Yeah. So, and you and thank you, Allie, because I don't, I don't, you know, being a Taurus, I don't often let people push me, but you've got a gentle way of pushing me that doesn't like freak me out. <laughs> <laughs> And, and it really is encouraging and it's, a, so, you know, it's so like light filled and, and love filled and yeah. Just know that I would never push you to do something that I thought you couldn't do. Exactly. As a teacher that pushes you back then, doesn't it? That kind of like, it creates a lot more problems as a teacher. Um, right. Well, so. you, you had a hard time with me in the beginning. You tried to push me out of the comfort zone and I just <laughs> yeah. completely shut down. <laughs> she literally well, had to pull each word out of me. <laughs> it was there, but I was so scared to even say the name of the card that yeah. she really had to pull it out. Why what the card is doing. <laughs> yeah. That's how I would suggest that everybody starts is describe what you see in the card. Just simplistically, 
just describe what you're seeing. The illustrator knows what they're doing. Um, right. Yep. Okay. So Capricorns. Okay. We've got the world card again um, for Capricorns. Okay. So we had Cap we had the world card for Virgos as well, didn't we? So this is the beginning of the week. Starts off with the world. Um, it basically these are the um, the Lux uh, Tarot Grand Lux. Okay, by Cairo Marchetti. Okay, so um, so yeah, this is the uh, the world card. So it basically means that um, if you've been worried about something, if you if something has been playing on your mind and you've been thinking it's not going to turn out well or you know the universe is going to surprise you because it's going to it's going to really push yourself um you know to maybe to those limits just what i mean maybe it's it's going to say it's all going to be far better than you realized um so well done okay we've got a character around um, and this is my Cancerian cards. I'm not saying they are a Cancerian, but if you think about the personality of a Cancerian, so somebody around you is going to play a big part this um, the beginning of the week um, in your life. There's somebody who um, they seem as if they don't really, they're not really interacting with you, but they've got a hard front on. So it's usually that they are just being um, precautious. They're just taking precautions. They're just being um, a little bit kind of careful Okay, they've got a hard, um, hard outer shell protecting of that vulnerability. Okay, um, so that person is going to be um, in your life at the beginning of the week. Um, we have the training card um, stepping forward. It's very nerve wracking, um, but you can see he's kind of nerve nervous about kind of you know stepping out there, but he's decided to go for it. Um, so it's quite apt that that was our conversation just now. But you can see why I'm seeing what I'm seeing in that card, okay? Mm -hmm. Two of coins, that's what that card means. Um, and this card, I'm going to say sorry from now, okay? Um, my mum, once she saw this card, she said that it looks like um, a phallic symbol and um, I can't see this card as anything else anymore. Uh, but that's the card that was pulled, so you can you can talk about this to yourself. Okay, so um, there you go. It is the Eight of Wands there, okay? The Eight of Wands. Um, so my mum, you've ruined this card for me. Thanks, mum, uh, Patricia Welch. Thank you so much. Uh, when I'm teaching with this, I have to explain this every time. So anyway, what the Eight of Wands actually does mean <laughs> isn't that some things are coming towards you, um, but it can mean... Um, that there is travel plans, movement, travel, okay? So there could be, this is usually motorway travel or long distance uh, travel, okay? So don't be surprised if there's not uh, conversations or plans um, talking about traveling, okay? Uh, travel plans, beginning of uh, the week for Capricorns. By the middle of the week, um, you've got the world, uh, the wheel card, okay? So the wheel, again, is like... Um, when something has been stuck, it's, it sometimes stops other things in your life from moving forward as well. And when one thing starts to move, it then turns the wheels of, of your life. And this is what's going on here. So it's like, you know, the inner workings of a clock. As one turns, it turns the other one, it turns the next one, it turns the next one. Um, so your life is going to start to move on quite quickly from this point. OK, whereas before you've been kind of wondering what's going to be happening. Well, now um, watch and wait. It's all there for you. Um, so to me, this is where you have to be defending yourself, defending what it is that you've chosen to do. Um, you know, maybe you feel as if you've got to defend your point of view, defend what you've said, defend a decision that you've made or choices. It's all to do with kind of, you know, saying, well, you know, come on, universe, you know, bring it on because nothing's going to stop me, stop me from this point. I'm going to keep going forward. We then have the ace of wands, which is, um, you know, the start of something new. OK, and this is usually to do with ambition, something that you're striving towards. Um, this is like um, the, it's like a, a matchstick that's just been um, lit and you are now going to be ignited into this new 
uh, project that you've got excited about and uh, you can't stop, um, you know, getting that excitement on, okay? Now there will be a slight obstacle and all you have to do is be creative to find your way around that obstacle. By the end of the week, you have the temperance. Um, this is about fairness. This is about getting your uh, rewards, getting what it is that um, you deserve, um, making sure that you have um, a balance of work, rest and play in your life because sometimes we don't. We kind of become a little bit too um, overrun with work or things that we've got to do, just got to do, got to do. Okay, there's a lot of reminiscing about the past. Wasn't it great when, or, you know, um, I wish things could be different. Um, sometimes it's like, sometimes we just need to kind of say, that was the past and it was really lovely. And now I need to create my own happiness right now. I need to create um, my new world, what it is that I want in my world now and how happy um, I want to be. Um, stop waiting for someone else to come along and rescue you and make you feel happy. Sometimes you have to be happy yourself. Okay, what is it that makes you smile? What makes you, what makes you laugh? Um, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do? Um, and all of those things do more of, okay? If you're not got that balance right, then sometimes you need to have a kick up the bum, um, do it yourself and get out there. That reminiscing about the past is not doing you any good at all, okay? It's, uh, it's given you more of an obstacle for the future, okay? You've got to kind of like um, project your thoughts to the future, um, otherwise it will be stagnant, okay? Um, so sometimes we're saying, oh, my hands are tied, I can't get out of my situation, um, I can't get out because of this, or I can't do that because of that. But sometimes due to fear, um, or due to kind of, you know, um, you know, the worry or, and, the, and the anxiety about change, we sometimes make excuses as to why we can't do what we're doing. We've all done it. We all do it. OK, um, but this card is saying it's not the right time to do that, Capricorns. Um, you know, now to me, I'm seeing her kind of like she's she's choosing not to see. Um, she can easily there's swords around her and she can cut her way free if she wants to. Um, so um, she's deciding to stay blinkered, to stay not seeing what is right in front of her. I think there's a young person around um, you, Capricorns, the end of the um, this week. There's a young person around you who um, I feel is going to need a little bit more um, of your energy and your time. OK, so look out for that younger person. There you go. That's what I see for Capricorns. <laughs> Okay, all right, Capricorn. Let's see what the cards want to say to you for this week. Oh, well, we're starting off with the sun card. So that's always, you know, what the, the best cards in the deck. It's it's all about celebration and and you know that you've 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 done it you know you you can shine in in the light of your success okay oh i'm also kind of feeling the, the message from this card actually for some for some capricorns um you know, I, I know that the weather is, is kind of still fickle in some areas, even though it's it's technically spring. Um, but some encouragement to set to spend um, some time out in the sun. And, and you'll know it, it you'll, you'll just get an urge to, <laughs> to have to just go outside and, and soak up some some sun or or take a moment if you're walking your dog to just kind of you know stop for a moment and, and raise your your face to the sun with your eyes closed and and just bask in it for a moment. Okay. Um, oh, well, this is a beautiful card to go with the sun card. So this is the unicorn and it's infinite possibilities. And it says, you are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light, abandon the darkness, 
go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. Oh, that's a that's an amazing card. <laughs> And I'm noticing I'm being drawn to the butterflies in there. And butterflies for me, um, you know, are always a, a sign of, of if you see butterflies outside, it's a sign from from a passed over uh, loved one. So I guess just be, you know, be on the lookout for a, a butterfly that gets uh, very close to you. And just know that it's just a little a little love message. All right, oh, this is the awakening card. And it says, oh my Lord, wake me from life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. And this is sincere relationships. Okay. Oh, and she's got a butterfly earring. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm getting, this, this almost feels like it's a message from first, you know, someone, a, a Capricorn or two or three um, to, yes, that you, you, you have a very special loved one that is just letting you know, um, that, that they're with you in seeing uh, the butterflies. And, you know, I'm seeing these two cards together with the awakening with the sun, you know, and it's, it's that, you know, you, you've done this, you know, you, you've become aware, you've become engaged. Um, you know, you are, you know, fighting on the side of light and it's, it's not fighting in a way of, of, I think Vera explained it very well in a previous card about the, the peaceful warrior. Um, because you know, you at this stage are, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's all going up from here because you are full of these infinite possibilities. Yes. Yeah, so that was, that's a very, very powerful reading. You got, you got, there was a lot in that one. <laughs> Is the illustrator um, of that those cards that you've got that I just saw there with oh, the butterfly? These ones? No, um, the other one. Um, oh, the, the this Josephine one. Wall. That one. Is the illustrator uh, Josephine Wall? Let me see. Josephine, somebody, because they are very <laughs> similar to Nature's Whispers. No, her name's Angela Hartfeld. Yes. Oh, you know what? Is there maybe the name of the illustrator is different yes. than the author? Yeah. Um, so I think um, it was it was definitely yeah they're the same. So because I recognise the artwork, <gasps> it's beautiful, really gorgeous. Uh, Nature's Whispers isn't you'd like that one. Okay. Whispers, you'd like that deck. Okay. I don't know if Vera's okay. got that one. Have you got Nature's Whispers? No. Um, my mum's got the deck. Otherwise, I'd show you. <clears throat> they're lovely. Okay, who's going next out of um, Vera and Stephanie? I have Vera. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so Capricorns. And I love the I love the cards I have for you. And it starts off kicking off like a message, trustworthy friend friends and it says under thank you angels for surrounding me with people i can trust and love and this could well could you suggest that some of the capricorns have had people around that well you trust them in the beginning and then they find out they backstack you so what do you think? Yeah, right. I have someone also telling me, yeah, I'm a great friend of you. And you feel like, uh-uh. I don't trust it. 
And guess what? It happens again and again and again. But in a way, if you put out to the universe, just put it out there that you only surround yourself with people that you can trust and love. Those that have an underlying reason to be around you, to drain you or whatever, just, oh, and they, like they're blabbing and blabbing and blabbing and blabbing. I'm a talk and talk, talk, and you cannot, even though they tell you, well, if you got something, just say it, I'll, I'll, I'll listen. And you say two, three words, maybe three sentences, and the rest of the time they're talking. You can push those out of your life by only allowing those in your life you can trust and love. And this is all about you as a person, about your gut feeling, about your intuition. Because trust towards the middle of the wake. It says, trust your vibes. Thank you, angels. Today I choose, and read carefully. Today I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. And if you're anything of a bit like me, and I'm told, oh, you put it in motion. But when you have that niggling feeling, I'm not sure if I can trust this person. Instead of saying, I'm not trusting, say to yourself, I only accept those in my life I can trust. Because usually when you got your gut feelings telling, I don't trust the person, it usually is. And when you start just trusting, because if you don't trust your own intuition, how can you make healthy choices for yourself? Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy decisions. So this is literally about building a family around you. And I don't mean blood family, just your tribe, your soul family, your whatever. Surround yourself with trustworthy friends. Make that decision. You are going to trust your vibes from day one, from now on. And one tip you can do, go to bed. I'm going to trust my vibes. I'm trusting my vibes. I'm trusting my intuition. I'm, and just keep repeating it. Fall asleep. That's when you train your subconscious to trust your intuition. And that will lead to you to making healthy choices because when you trust your intuition, you trust your gut feeling. And some of, I don't think that's a very wise decision. I don't think you should do it. But in your heart, in your intuition, in your gut, you say, to me, it's a good decision. Yeah, maybe you'll slam dunk your face to a wall a couple of times. But then it is your decision. Yep, I should have done it a different way. Or, well, yep, maybe that person was right. But remember, it was your choice and not being led by everyone else around you. Yes, you will lose friends, but think, when you lose the friends, when you start coming up for yourself, trusting your gut, you will create trustworthy friends in your life. So that's what I got for Capricorn. And I think one of my rising signs is Capricorn. Yeah. No, oh, thank you, Vera. So oh, that's personal to me too. Okay. So Stephanie, 
I got the chariot. So obviously that means travel. And with the horses, that means probably quickly. And um, to take, since if you have two horses and we all may be riding them soon, if gas prices keep going. <laughs> to kind of <laughs> grab caravans life by, all by horses. Caravans from the roundabout. Grab life, <laughs> life by, by the reins, you know. And um, yeah, things are going to be happening, but obviously some travel's coming up. So it kind of bounces off of um, one of uh, Ali car Allie's cards, I think. She said travel. And that's my quickie. Thank you. That's Yay. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So um, we're going to do um, Aquarius now. Yeah. Okay. So Aquarius, then Gemini, then Libra. And then after that, we're doing uh, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Okay. So I'll just do that. All right. So um, we've got um, the beginning of the week. So I thought I'd add some different cards in because as I can. <laughs> it's nice to just change it up, isn't it? I think we're all yep. doing that, aren't we? Going, yeah, I'll try this one, I'll try this one. Yep. Okay, so <laughs> this is the Enlightenment deck. Okay, so to do with your emotions coming up, Aquarius, um, at the beginning of the week, we've got the inspiration card. Okay, so this says that you're going to have the freedom and energy to maybe change things up a little bit um, and try new things. Okay, so this could be, um, you know, arts and crafts. Okay, it could could be redesigning the kitchen or, you know, moving everything around in the living room or, you know, um, trying different colour in the hallway. Whatever whatever you've decided, um, you're going to be creative, okay? It's going to be – it could be that you're having the creative ideas and then someone else is doing it for you. Um, sometimes that's the way it works. But uh, whatever happens is you, you've got this creative inspiration going on, Okay. Um, we've also got the chariots. Okay, so it's funny, we've got the chariot again. Okay, so the chariot is about looking at things in black and white, deciding on maybe the pros and the cons to something. Um, it can mean racing ahead. Um, it can mean motorway travel. It can mean, you know, sometimes not being distracted by shiny things and staying true to our quest, our goal. Okay, so emotionally, we've got um, complications okay, in love life. Now, usually I see this as a celebration card, but for some reason, I feel that there is something that needs to be resolved or sorted out in a love life situation. It's like um, there has been um, papered over, something papered over, uh, which is going to come unstuck. And um, this is something that needs to be addressed, okay? It's linked with a relationship. It doesn't, you know, for some of you, yes, it will be love life, for others of you, this could be um, a family situation. It could be a work colleague. It could be a friend. Um, so it's somebody around you that you're needing to get sorted out um, some issues with. OK, um, now this is linking with a person who is a bit of a kind of their steady, uh, their reliable type of character. or That's the way they like to appear. Um, they plod along. They don't get very far, far quickly. OK, it could be they're being a bit lazy or they're not kind of putting enough passion into the a friendship or into the relationship. Um, and maybe there's a need to spice things up a little bit. OK, but remember what I said before, um, in order for somebody else <clears throat> in your life, say if in a love life situation, um, you know, they you want them to become more. Uh, romantic then sometimes you have to be as well you have to think about what can I do to make my partner feel special to feel as if you know I uh, I care for them or I love them or you know um, I'm thinking about them in that way okay so we can't moan about them without going within ourselves <clears throat> so that's coming up there's always a theme <laughs> um, that runs through um, readings and uh, I think this is the theme about kind of feeling balanced in relationships I think here <clears throat> middle of the week, <clears throat> middle oh. of the week we've got... <laughs> sorry I'm gonna mute <laughs> uh, so the middle of the week 
Um, it's like somebody's opened the cage door to you and said, come on out to play. Now you could class that as temptation. You could class that as, you know, wanting to get to an, um, an adventure or um, do something that maybe you shouldn't do, um, doing something. So it's all to do with kind of, um, you know, it's like the feeling free and feeling as if you're doing something that you wouldn't normally do, okay? Um, but we can't stay caged up forever. Um, but sometimes we need to kind of also think about the consequences to what it is that we're deciding to do as well. <clears throat> or do you? Um, and that leads, leads up to the devil card. <laughs> okay, so the devil card is all to do with mischievous naughtiness on a playful level. Sometimes that can mean experimenting experimenting in all directions. I'll leave that up to you, what you think that might be. Um, but there's other times that the, the devil card can mean something worse, which is somebody who's not being kind, not being nice. Um, you know, perhaps they've got, uh, you know, ulterior motives, okay, going on, okay? Um, so it could be somebody who's tempting you out of your, of your cage, out of your comfort zone, and they've got bad things in mind, you know, so sometimes we have to kind of take that um, for what it is. OK, just, just be wary, um, but don't live your life in fear. <clears throat> OK, um, emotional choices. OK, feeling a bit tormented by um, a person that is linked to your past. Um, it could be an emotional um, situation that you've had in your past, you know, that is um, bringing up these kind of um energies that you're you're needing to um think differently maybe be a bit more um cage cagey about your um your life you know it's like a new relationship where you're just not letting them in properly um, it could mean um an emotional situation linked with a family member and you feel tormented it's like whatever i do it's going to be wrong whatever i do i'm going to be in trouble okay so you can see he's feeling proper tormented. And then we've got the hermit card. Okay, the hermit card is about your home. It's also about isolating or it's about, you know, getting out there. Okay, so for some of you, it will be maybe isolating too much. For others, it will be you need to kind of um, spend some time alone or getting out there more. So you've got to decide which one. Sometimes it's like you've got to get the balance right. We're doing too much of one, not the other. The end of the week is peace and tranquility. Okay, we've got the peace card. So you found that inner peace within yourself, which is wonderful. Um, you have the taking that leap of faith. Okay, with the full card, doing something the end of the week that um, you've, you're going with that gut feeling. You're not um, thinking clearly about what the other consequences are because you're in that peaceful energy. It's like, well, I, I've got nothing to lose. Um, I can cope with the consequences if um, this all goes wrong. Um, so I'm just going to go for it. Okay. Um, there is a, a leadership energy around. So this could be a person who is maybe um, making you uh, stray away from your pathway, maybe because they've got leadership energy. They're saying, you know, there's nothing stopping you from doing the same thing as I'm doing. Why don't you? And just, I mean, so you might get carried away with this character. This character can be very convincing. Um, for all we know, it might be a very good plan. Who knows? Um, but um, that's for you guys to decide. And then you have the spiritual card, which means sometimes spirit will give you those signs. So look out for the signs. If you're meant to do something, then spirit will give you the signs. If you're not meant to do something, the spirit will not. So sometimes we have to look for the signs to say, it's a yes, it's going. I've got to go for it. And other times it's like, I'm not getting any signs or I'm getting a definite brick wall up. Okay, so here we go. That's what I see for Aquarius. I'm, I'm curious if there's anybody listening right now or, or any of us in our group. Um, is somebody about to write a book? Because I keep getting book when you were talking about the creative project. So if someone, up, you know, if someone's 
watching this right now and if they respond like yeah you know that's me you know <laughs> just just let me know i'm very curious otherwise it's it's for you know somebody who will watch this at another time but you're getting a big go ahead in in the writing of this book it's like all all green lights <laughs> I'm supposed to be writing a book. I've had this list for years and years and years. So, oh. yeah. same here. <laughs> there we are. Same here. Same yeah. here. Yep. Yeah. It can have multiple meanings for people. So, well done. <laughs> All right. So, over to you, Sherry. Okay. All right. Ah, the Temperance card. All right. So, this is a for Aquarius. All right, the temperance card, I'm actually feeling a big, strong um, energy around this one in, in self-care, um, in, in taking the time um, for yourself um, to, so that, that you are feeling balanced um, with, within, your, within yourself. It's, it's not like something is causing any kind of imbalance it's just for you to uh, to um, be um, more like mindful about it, um, be be cognizant of that, um, you know. And it, it's just going to make you feel just overall more at peace, more more even. Um, and and this is just a reminder, you know, for for you to 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 self care. All right, all right. Let's see what animal message is for Aquarius this week. Oh, and I'm getting angel hugs from this card too. So yeah, just, just be aware of, of maybe you're feeling some very uh, comforting uh, energies. All right, well, this is the wolf card and it says Pathfinder. It says, believe your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. Uh, this card is true offering. And it states, true offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. Right. And this card is receive healing. And so, yeah, so I'm getting a lot of it, like, you know, connecting with, with, um, the angelics is really going to be beneficial, you know, with, with this like self love balance, you know, that, that, that you are, are easily working with. Um, and in doing so when, when you, when you do that, when you're in that almost, you know, perfect serene balance, um, you know, with this true offering card, and this showing the, the, the pathfinder, um, you know, I just really feel like, again, like kind of with the, with the book, um, you know, that you're just getting a lot of green lights, you know, to just the, the doors are open, um, you know, step forward and yeah, that I don't, it's, perseverance, that, that word is, is coming up you know, like as, as an emphasis, emphasis, it says perseverance is your secret power. So there we go. That's what I have for Aquarius. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So Vera, are you ready? Well, what I got for Aquarius is, uh, well, especially for those that are like, <gasps> choke up that this is for you. Beginning of the week, I got the Divine Physician. Thank you, Raphael, 
for sharing your divine light upon my healthy body. And I have to say, it's not, maybe your body feels healthy, but it can be maybe even more healthy, more stamina, more, say, well, you used to walk six miles and now you're only about two miles and you want to go back to the six miles because you've had a cold or anything. You will get there because Archangel Raphael is there to help you, but not only that, because towards the middle of the week, and I had to pull two additional cards, and that's this card, loved one in heaven. Thank you, loved ones in heaven, for drawing close at this time, and I feel, yeah, that you feel emotional, like you miss, you miss someone in your, you've always had in your life, had fallen, and all of a sudden you have a day, oh my God, I miss this person, I wish I could talk. Well, for that I had to pull two cards, two cards came out, I wanted to pull one, from talking to heaven. So if this feels, this is for you, it is for you. And the loved one wants you to know, I watch over you every day. And see the heart, beautiful heart there, and the beautiful yellow flowers. Oh. And they also want you to know, so if you think, oh my God, life on earth is so hard. Yes. It can be, because the earth is our school. And watch that, yeah, globe-like book or something. Watching the book. Someone had talked about book. And maybe that's also a part of what loved ones want you to know. Start writing. Maybe even just write that person a letter because it gets out of your system and they know. You can talk to them, but if you better at writing a letter, write it. And maybe very, it sounds strange, but smoke goes up to the sky. So you can also let that Put that paper on a fireplace or on a wood fire so you can see the smoke circle up. If that's for you more clear that is reaching them, then do that. And because when you do, you feel this, even though it's emotional, it's also healing. And then towards the end of the week, you'll feel like you're able to express your creativity because everyone has his own creativity in him. Some have multiple. Some are just, you know, you hear trains, the word trains. Maybe you are always one or two miniature trains, miniature, miniature stuff, model trains. Maybe you can start doing it, repairing them, fixing them, or whatever. It doesn't matter as long as it is kickstarts your creativity. Because, and I hear, see on my the words. That's what your loved ones in heaven want you to do. Reconnect. To express your creativity, and if that's painting, it's painting. Just let it flow. And that's what I got for Aquarians. Five cards. Thank you, Vera. You're welcome. Well, I pulled two cards. The Hierophant. Is that how you say that? Yeah. That's a and Flamingo Spirit. So with this one, I get um, see uh, 
take another perspective, maybe of connecting with your higher self. And um, looks like um, surround yourself with like-minded people. And um, yeah, that's all I got out of this one. And the flamingo spirit, it says embrace the in-between. And it says balance comes easily to flamingo spirit who sees what was and what will be and stands strong in the face of uncertainty. You can be informed by what came before and plan for the future yet to be, but do not resist flamingo spirit call to be fully present in the now where the real magic happens with one foot in life. You are moving away from the one in the future as you become the one who leads the life in your highest intention. You must make peace with the fact that you are not fully in either place. Embrace the in-between. Mm. And that's what I have. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, just doing that pinning thing. Okay, so um, I just want to say that my dad, you know, Vera, you said about um, miniature railways. Well, we used to always go on holiday and my dad used to always take us to a miniature, mini, uh, miniature railway always it's kind of like something um, to do with my dad so I will say that's a, a big fat yes for me wow yeah yeah so thank you I know I've never said that in group about my dad so no mm -mm. that's awesome yep <laughs> I'm now I'm like an emoticon <laughs> <laughs> well between okay. sherry and vera um i had an idea well i had three three ideas for books but one i think i know i'm supposed to write is just not really a book book but um account the family history because i've moved back here to where my family was involved in a lot of history and things and um i'm trying to um get the accurate accounts from my uncle, you know, before, cause he's getting older and try to make kind of like an ancestry book for my family mm. to pass along. So those stories don't get lost. Yeah. Mm. Precious, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Double, double thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. I, I already know. Cause I already started writing and then I'm like, okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> they nag, don't they? Like, yeah. You're meant to do this. Right, right. So I know that's one of them. And then I have another, I'm going to write a children's book. I know that as well. Oh, yay. Yeah, Mimi and the Traveling Cats. <gasps> oh, yeah. I like that. Yes. Our, oh. our little moving adventure. <laughs> oh. Do you do the illustrations as well? I think I'm going to try. I'm sort of creative and when Allie talked about having other people do things I've already decided I want my front door painted another color <laughs> so I, my son's a painter so I mean and I'm going to paint furniture but I'm going to let him paint the front door <laughs> yeah yeah oh so it's all coming about isn't it I love these confirmations yeah. they're good yeah mm -hmm. yeah so I, yeah. I just start laughing when <laughs> <laughs> About like, yeah, you're talking just, to me. You're talking to me. Can I just do a shout out for my daughter Megan? Yeah, that's me. beautiful. I it's love beautiful. that. It's yes, diamond it is. things. So yeah, I'm so pleased just to do that for Mother's Day. It was lovely. Um, I kept thinking I've got to say this sometime in this live. I want to say it. And it's like <laughs> I'm going to say it this time because I'll forget. I'll forget. Okay. Um, so um, this is for Gemini's now. Um, Gemini's, this is for the 28th of March through to the 3rd of April 2022. Um, we're starting out with the magician again. Okay, so the magician, it's up to you. Are you going to, is your life going to be happy or sad? You decide. You wake up in the morning, you might stub your toe. It might put you in a bad mood and then you can stay in that bad mood all day and then you can probably end up at the end of the day being battered and bruised because um, emotionally 
and physically because you stayed in that energy. Or you can stub your toe, laugh about it, and then say, well, um, I've, cl I've cleared that energy now. I'm going to have a fantastic day. You know, so it's so it's we can decide and it can be just a shift in our kind of energy, just a shift and to put it into different perspective. OK, so that's what you're going to be deciding. OK, the beginning of the week. How is your how is your day going to be or how's the beginning of the week going to be for you? OK, and I can already tell you that you've chosen the more positive way forward because we have this lovely card, which is I, I just think it's beautiful. Look at the colours. Um, the three of cups it's all about solidarity it's about um you know sharing your life with with others it's um it's fun it's friendships it's maybe family whether that's spiritual family or whether that's um blood family um you're having some um real strong um fun energies around you and togetherness and lots of help um and the end of end of this uh, beginning of the week is um this will be coming on into bit of the beginning of the week uh we've got the two of cups which is about partnerships so um don't be surprised if there's not going to be some new energy coming in so this could be a new friendship this could be a, a partner if you've got if you're single um this could be you know meeting somebody somebody who you you know thought um well I, I get on really well with that person and that person ends up being in your future okay but that is to do partnerships by the middle of the week we've got that naughty devil back again okay so this naughty naughty energy um for all we know there might be some uh, revelations coming out okay about dirty deeds in kind of um maybe even in mainstream media you never know something might be changing and shifting because this card keeps coming up um it's mm. come up in every reading so it's there um which sometimes can be um that indicator that it's global and not necessarily just an inward it will always mean something to that particular person but it might be that light-hearted kind of meaning of the devil um and the other side of the meaning might be a global one so watch out on the news okay the mm. next week uh for something i know i know things are coming out bigger and bigger and bigger and right. there's no way the people that are gonna miss it um it's it's too massive um and that's just going to get busier okay so um so i feel that's that's that so i feel that you're going to be nurturing um some financial things some um, some projects okay seven of pentacles that are going to bring about some good harvest energy okay good financial energy so look he's nurturing does that make sense that he's put a lot of um, thought and a lot of kind of his past experiences he's put them all here and he's literally filtering his his knowledge um, into making this work for him okay and this card just says I'm going for it. I'm not going to hold back. So it's having fun. So that's the middle of the week. By the end of the week, that has really paid off because then we have the world. Um, so the world is good news, um, good feeling, um, something amazing happening that you didn't think possible. OK, or maybe you was worried about a certain way um, that a situation was going. It's kind of going down that way and I don't want it to. Um, but then all of a sudden it's like, that way becomes the best way. Okay, so, um, and emotionally, emotionally, sometimes we have to nurture our hearts. Um, we have to say, I am worthy of love. I deserve, and there's a good way of doing that as a mantra. I deserve, I deserve, I deserve. And then do that for a week. I deserve, I deserve, I deserve. All the time during the day, I deserve, I deserve, I deserve. And then perhaps the next week say, I deserve, and then add something to it. Mm. I deserve, wow. you know, do it per day. Do it, I deserve, I deserve for one day. And then the next day, add something on. And the next day, add something else on. And the next day, add something mm. else on. Um, and it is a mantra. And you're, it's like you are convincing your higher self that you have that thing. Uh, 
you know, I deserve a new car. I deserve to have financial abundance. I deserve to be loved unconditionally. I deserve whatever it is that you want to. Okay, so, um, so yeah, it's something to do with your heart energy is got to be done. And kick out this um, sarcastic energy of, yeah, when pigs fly. <laughs> Yeah. Um, um, literally, you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the night seers tarot. So, um, so sometimes we have to. That can actually counteract and scrub out that negative Nelly that's in your head that says, "Don't be so ridiculous. You're never going to get that." This ca cancel, clear, delete it. Every time that little thought comes in, it's like, "Nope, cancel, clear, delete." Um, and move on, okay, and put back in your place. I deserve, I deserve, I deserve. <laughs> so, there you go. That's what I see for Gemini's. Hello, Stephanie. Yes. Give your cat a big hug. Yeah. Oh, I'm hugging him. He's a big butterball. This is Tuxie. <laughs> Oh, look at him. Oh, my gosh. Aww. And the reason why you want uh, to give him a big hug, he sent me some love. Yes, we, we're, we're sending you lots of love. We were thinking of you. Oh, yeah. He, oh, my gosh. He was adorable. one of the kitties that lived in my garage and I couldn't leave him behind. And he he came. Oh, yeah. Aww. He's That's beautiful. Nice. My goodness. He's Thanks. a big boy. He's beautiful. Yeah. That's He's beautiful. Oh my God. Very grateful for the love as well. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of love. Yeah. He's a love bug. <laughs> he likes chewing on you too. Like, <laughs> he bites on me all the time. And he, ha there's the other cat, mama like cat. She, yeah, but harder. And yeah. there's a, mama it's cat grooming. was a feral cat. She's a black cat. And he bites on her all the time. She yells. Because he wrestles he's with grooming. Them, you know, they, well, they play. Yeah. It's, it's, he's grooming you, nourishing. But he um, also, it's love bites too. Sometimes it's passion though. Yeah. Um, they get a bit, anyway, we're just doing yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, that's okay. Now, I'm just saying they, they just don't understand. We don't have thick fur <laughs> protecting our, our, I told him, I got old skin. And I'm all, I have old skin now. And I tell him, ouch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he stops. He's yeah, Mr. Gray's right down here. He's like, what the heck? That's my spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my All god, right. guys. Y'all are... okay. All right, let's see what I have here for Gemini. Oh no, you can't step on the computer. Um, oh well, the devil card came up again. Wow. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's see what the other cards uh, give me some more uh, enlightenment here. Uh, well, I'm actually being drawn to, to this. So I don't know, there might be some, some Geminis that are, that are feeling a little um, kind of torn, a little, little bit like um decisions are, are are kind of being made against you know what they really want to do or or how they feel so let's that's interesting so let's see uh what else comes up um raccoon okay so the raccoon is giving the message of inventor Decide on what you really want. You have the ingenuity to claim it. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. You have many roles and can juggle, juggle them well. Well, that's that gives a lot of insight enjoy being, right there. Enjoy being the trickster. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Let's see here. Uh, this is the signs card. It says instincts are the message from the inner divine. All right. so, let's see what this last card says. Uh, 
Uh, this is receive healing. Wow, this card has come up <laughs> like three times. Receive healing. Okay. Um, all right. So whatever this is, you're, you're definitely being encouraged to like step away from it. Um, you know, really, you know, reach in for, for that, for the divine love and the divine guidance. Um, you know, and, and you can do this in, in, you know, inventive ways. Um, you know, don't, don't let others, you know, influence what you know is, is, is to be the right and the best. So, yeah, that's the message I have for, for that, for Gemini. Neat. Sorry, I couldn't get my what's it back on again. It wouldn't let me. <laughs> okay, so who's next, Vera? Yeah. Yep. All right. Okay, Gemini. I... I think Gemini just soak this in. It says Earth Angel. Thank you angels for inspiring me to be more like you. Because mm. when you feel you are connected to your angels, life gets a lot easier. Mm. Because instead of feeling you're all over the place, I'm going this way or I'm going this way or should I move forward or just, you'll just know. That's an inner deep knowing. You know exactly where you're going. You know exactly what you need to do. And when you don't have the answer, answer, you just can say, thank you, angels, for inspiring me to be more like you. Ask the question. And all of a sudden, it pops in your mind. Oh, that's the solution. Or this is a good thing to handle it. And this is also more like very pretty high vibration which will lead to and for some may probably have had more steps like it different steps because every time you go up you'll lose friends others come back because then it's also another probably wash out of those people that you feel they're not trustworthy. It's not that they're bad people, but they don't fit you. They are not your tribe. So towards the middle of the week, thank you angels for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. Because with that trust and love, you can go up fully connected to the angels and that will lead to, instead of all that you're talking, you want to tell how you see it, how you feel it, and it, like, oh, it's not coming out. That will end. It's going to end. Because when you feel connected to your angels, you say you have an interview. And oh, my God, I don't know what. I always block up. Uh-uh. Just clip your fingers. Hey, angels, you better. You better be there and intervene whenever I block up so I can keep talking the way I should. They are there. That's what they are also there for. That's also about trustworthy friend, friends because angels, you, usually you can trust them big time because that will lead to speak your truth, Archangel Gabriel. Thank you, Gabriel, for helping me to speak with integrity. 
because maybe you have found yourself the only way you can speak your truth is what you start to I need because you have so much because of that blockage here you need so much power to get it out that to you it sounds like you're whispering but everyone around you stop yelling but that's the pressure you need to get it out that's gonna fade away because you can speak your truth with integrity because you're getting ready feeling from the gut down intuitive just tell it like it is that's what i got for gemini all right Thank you, vera Thank you. Welcome. So Stephanie. I call them the lovers and crow spirit. So the lovers obviously <laughs> represent um, either partnership or some kind of relationship or even secret love affair. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, something there. And then crow spirit to me, um, I have the book as well, but crow is also represents to me magic and um, can be sometimes a trickster. So but the card says that as you look around you, can you see, sense the magic that pulses through the world? Have you witnessed how every thought can become a thing and Allie had mentioned about how you should say you have something so how every intention can call the universe into action as a sacred law shape what you experience the universe works in perfect order when you align your thoughts feelings and beliefs with spirit you will want uh, to crawl with delight feeling the excitement and wonder of being in harmony with something much larger than yourself and um Crow spirit, it says, you know, for your dreams magically come into being with the visible world. And um, so you connect and the whole positive thing of manifesting things and saying, you know, putting it out there in a positive manner. So that's what I have. Thank you. All right. So it's back to me again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm unpinning everybody and pinning them. Just what I mean, that's, I, so that's why it's a bit of a delay. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So we're going to be doing um, Libra. Libra now. So this is my Libra. My wife, uh, Libra, because I've got Libra oh. rising and Greg is a triple Libra. So there we go. I, I pro pronounced that a little different. Libra. <laughs> <laughs> Libra. All right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to concentrate now. Um, so this is for the week of the 28th of March through to the 3rd of April. One card's just flipped over. What card was it? Travel card. Yes, he's, he's definitely coming to see me next week. <laughs> Because the Pisces card said it was going to get fruity at the end of the week, he said, "I'll be, I'll be there at the end of the week." That's what nice. He said. So, I'm going for that. Um, so, I haven't said hello. To, sorry to Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn and Amber. Evelyn said, "Love you, girls." Yeah, yay. So <laughs> he's in the chat. Yay. <laughs> okay. Right. So, have a look. All right, so the beginning of the week starts off with the hanged man, I'm afraid. And the hanged man says, you've got to be patient. We don't like patient. We don't. Um, but, yeah, patience is, um, is what is needed. So, you're, you're, you know, while you're being patient, maybe you're looking at things from a different angle. Maybe there's, there's something more to see. You know, maybe we've got to be, um, I don't know, more creative in getting in finding our goals maybe the universe is deliberately kind of not bringing it to us on a plate because we're meant to work harder um 
go about it in a different way, maybe learn that extra skill before we uh, get what it is what we, what we want. Okay, so um, so yeah, with the with Libra and energy, it's it's asking you to be patient. Okay, the beginning of the week. Let's see what else they're asking us to do. Okay, so you've got the King of Swords, which happens to be the Libra card, <laughs> um, actually. Um, so there's the Libra card. Now, Librans, they typically want everything to be fair. Um, they're always constantly weighing things up and deciding on, you know, whether you're going to go this way or that way. Okay. Um, it's, it's like they're at this, usually at this uh, decision time. Um, you've also got the owl there. We've also got a bat and we've got a raven. So, um, mm. so yeah, there's a lot of kind of intuition energy linked with animals. Um, so, you know, sometimes um, look out for the animals who are going to be leading you um, into making uh, those decisions. Um, we also got the nine of wands, which is kind of what I was picking up with the hangman, the fact that there is a, an obstacle in your way and that's why you need to find another way around it so that card basically answers why I got what I got there okay so by the middle of the week I'm afraid there's a bit of a clear out coming your way um, that may, may be a good thing may not be a bad thing uh, but we do have the tower card okay um, and so the tower card comes up and shakes shakes things up okay but only because they, there's a need to shake things up only because, you know, life is saying you can't carry on as you're going. That's not going to get you anywhere. Um, you've asked for change. And here we are. We're going to give you change. OK. And sometimes it's because you've not been listening. It's like you're not listening, are you? So we're going to give it to you in a different way. And um, sometimes the universe has a very sick sense of humour at times. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we need to look out for that. So that's around the middle of the week there. Um, we also got saving of money, okay? Um, keep hold of money, they're saying. And I feel that this might be saying keep hold of cash. Okay, so again, every now and again, they put in a global message. And I feel that this is going to be, maybe with the tower card, the world is going to kind of come into a bit of chaos, okay, energy. And cash is needed. So, um, you know, have some cash on you. OK, that's I feel what they're saying. Um, that is one of the timelines. It may not be the one that we end up with, but um, that's what I feel is indicated, uh, especially with those two cards together. You can see why I'm picking that up. OK, with the tower and the four of the pentacles. OK, and um, there we go. What did I say? Um, so coins in the hand. So. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you you know that's confirming. I feel what what we're saying there. Okay, so this can be bit, having money being paid out to you. That is, um, you know, going to be good for you in a way. Okay, so it's like it's like ready cash coming to you um, is the other message. Okay, and then we end off with everything working out better than you thought. So um, it's not going to be long lived. Okay, this kind of uh, feeling of oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Panic, panic, panic. Um, they're saying, don't panic, okay? It's all going to be fine. Look at the world card. Don't look over there. Don't look at BBC. They're going to be wanting to scare you. Um, look over here. It's all going fine. Okay. You're going to be trying new things, okay? Three of Wands. It's like a celebration of, you know, it's, well, well, was going in that direction, but now I'm going in this direction, and, you know? Um, life is good okay why not uh, why not get excited about all these changes you know these changes are good okay so um, there you go and we then have the knight of wands which is um, somebody who's celebrating their differences um, so if you are different I had a little word with my granddaughter she was explaining um, some of her dreams and um she, she doesn't see, she sees um, light um, and, and dark. She knows if the light's on or the light's off. Um, she can sometimes see a few shadows, that sort of thing. It's like she won't walk into walls, she sees walls, um, but obviously not much, much more. 
and um, she was explaining her dream and she's just about to go to big school. And so it's a scary thought for her. Um, I'm telling you this for a reason because there's something else that, that is coming up here. Um, and she was explaining to me, um, you know, her dream about, you know, the, she's walking down a corridor and all these pictures are um, quite scary. Some of the pictures on the wall. And she's walking down the corridor and she's, she doesn't know what to, I can't even remember all of the dream, but I picked up that it's like the corridor represents her going forward in her life. And obviously some of the things that are coming up for her are scary. She doesn't know if she's going to get bullied. She has no idea. She's going into normal school um, being blind. And so, you know, you can see. So sometimes it's like we have to, I, the, the thing I said to her was embrace your differences. Embrace the fact that you're different. Be different. Be special. Be Hallie. Okay. Mm -hmm. And people will love you for it. And so this just reminds me of that. Okay, yeah. beat your own drum. Okay, um, go with the a rhythm of your own drum. Um, and that is what I feel that people should do more. Does that make sense? Instead of saying, oh, I'm different, perhaps I've got to conform and be the same as everyone else. No, be different and be happy to be yeah. different. It's okay, you're not hurting anyone. Um, yeah. So be happy. So just thought I'd, I'd share that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, over to and Sherry. It's very interesting that the the um, the holding on to finances savings card has come yeah. like Libra. I have Libra rising, so that has come up in Cancer, Taurus, and Libra. Really? Wow! Yeah. So I I I I got the message, universe. Thank you. All right. <laughs> you did. We're supposed to be saving. <laughs> Just some cash. Yeah. Have some cash put by. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we have for Libra here. All right, the judgment card. Okay. And I'm, I'm actually being drawn to this. So I know the, the judgment card typically means, you know, like a, a releasing, letting go of restrictions. But I almost feel like this is just a, like a reminder call to to be in tune with your higher self that's the message i'm getting from this particular judgment card for uh libra and uh this is the the horse and freedom card it says your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. This card kind of jumped out. Uh, this is the awakening card. And it says, oh, my Lord, wake me from life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. And this is the boundaries card. Okay. Um, so actually, so this is kind of, things are kind of coming together and I'm trying to make more sense. Um, what did I do with the awakening card? Oh, I, st I stuck it back. Okay. Um, so actually, I, I feel like that this this particular reading is is just kind of a, um, a reminder for you or, or just to kind of... Um, the universe's way of letting you know, you know, that you're on the right track. Um, you've been doing these things. Um, and it's just kind of encouragement that, you know, you're on the right path in, in doing this. You know, it's, it's like you, you've been between the awakening card and the boundaries card, you know, and, and this horse, you know, breaking free, you've, bro you've broken three through, you know, certain boundaries that were holding you back. Um, you know, you, you're, you're, you are going through or have already gone through, you know, this awakening 
Um, you know, and, and the more that you do that, and the more free you are, then the more in touch and in balance you are with your, with your higher self. So that is what I have for Libra. Thank you. All right. And um, so Vera. Well, what I got for Libra. Um, they're going to kick off the week by making healthy choices. And again, the thank you angels for guiding me to make healthy decisions. And yeah, that can be on a well, healthy. I'm extremely drawn to the word healthy. So there are going to be decisions that are beneficial for your health. Can also be another thing, but yeah, I kept the word healthy. So that's about probably about your health. Maybe healthy decision. Okay, I'm going to go to bed on time tonight. And then not ending up six hours later going to bed. And so this is a week a little bit all over. Towards the middle of the week, there you get the Express Your Creativity card. And I think that somewhere deep, even though you have been doing a lot of things about creativity, but I feel for, for some Librans, this will all be, so be about something that they have not expressed anywhere, haven't told anyone but it's something that is in their creativity. And I feel it needs to come out. So don't shy away, express your creativity, even though you might think it's not of interest of anyone, but it might catch a whole new audience, not audience, audience. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just a triple. And <clears throat> so, yeah, healthy choices express creativity, but also towards the end of the week, take a step back. Thank you, angels, for helping me to step back from what's not serving me. So... I, uh, I, th I honestly believe when... You put this together. This is completely woven throughout the week. Healthy choices is also about stepping back from the things that don't serve you. And when you can step back from the things that no longer serve you, you can open up your creativity. So it's, I think that's something that will, is woven throughout the week. A lot of decisions, a lot of change. But also, I, while I'm thinking about it, I feel all of a sudden a column fall over me, like, bum, down to earth, centered, grounded. And everything that you were thinking about, oh, should I do this, should I do that? All of a sudden, it's like, like you see in me in letters, shine up, this is what I need to do, this is what I need to do. And that comes in sequence in priorities. This is the most important, and then it goes down. Wipe it off, because you've striped that one off, and you'll go down and down and down. I think that's what's, I think Libra's gonna have a busy week, but then inner work busy. Okay, okay, thank you. I just wanna read out some of the comments here. Uh, we've got um, Sarah Anu, um, well, my sister is Capricorn, so I hope she's traveling to visit me soon. Um, Greg said, and the cryptocurrencies go to the moon. <laughs> That would be nice, wouldn't it? 
that would be lovely. And um, uh, blessed be the best. This is such a beautiful heart-centered group of divine feminine mystics. Incredible. Isn't that lovely? Aww. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That. That's lovely. Thank you. That's a big, big compliment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Over to you, Stephanie. All righty. I pulled the strength card for Librans. So this is Linus energy. And so I get strength, obviously, and um, courage. Um, sometimes I know it's connected to anger, but I think this is more about compassion. And um, I think maybe you might influence somebody this week um, just with your um, strength. Then I pulled antelope spirit and it says life is speeding up so i don't know these cards so i just have to read them <laughs> it's okay um when the antelope spirit rushes into your life we are being reminded of the quickening of your personal evolution as a powerful co-creator you are being told unequivocally that it is time to get moving set your intentions and take action towards making your dreams real there is an intensity you can feel and it is important to take advantage of the energy right now. If you have a plan for your career or financial abundance, now is the time to step it up. If you're asking about a relationship, make it your first move. Just know that the intentions you have set in motion are coming together now at warp speed. Stay alert and keep up. Things are getting interesting when antelope spirit calls you to move quickly. Mm -hmm. That's what I've got. Yeah. I feel it. I Thank do. you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be an exciting week, I think. I think there's going to be a lot going on, I think, in yes. the news and, you know, hopefully in the mainstream, but, you know, we never know. <laughs> it will be just uh, lots of uh, revelations, I feel, coming up. So, okay. So, going into the fire signs, we're finishing off with the fire signs. So, All right. Can, so true. Thank you for your work. And Greg says, thank you, ladies. Oh, you're welcome, Greg. You're welcome. <laughs> Stephanie, when you pull the card, I don't know them, and you start reading. Damn. Yes. Damn. I did know it. It came to my mind. It, I didn't trust it because I don't know the card. I think while you re were reading it, you thought, it feels familiar. But you weren't it able to express <laughs> <laughs> I haven't worked with them enough, but um, yeah, I think the more that obviously you work with the cards, then you also get to know them better and and, um, and start yourself. trusting yourself. Yeah. So I'm just, I sometimes work backwards too. And I'm trying to listen to my my spirit guides and my great grandmother's telling me, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a big thing. It's a, it's a big thing. It is. It's, well, she did the tea leaves and palms, and I only oh. remember a little bit of it. I was only four, you know, four or five when she crossed over. So, wow. And yeah. I told my uncle this, he didn't even know it because I was around her as a little, as a child, and he was a teenager. And he goes, I really didn't know my grandmother that well. You know, I was busy and then every time you go over the house she was always fighting with her husband and I said see I don't remember any of that <laughs> ah. yeah maybe they hid it from you but maybe if he was a bit older they might not have hid it right right I remember she had parakeets flying around she let them out of the cage and they flew all over the kitchen you know crazy stuff like that I don't remember <laughs> anything bad <laughs> And here we are with birds again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Why well, everyone's drawn to birds today. Why? Sure, Grandma. Yeah, uh, no, well, I call her uh, Gigi. Oh, Gigi. That's what my mum calls herself. Yeah. Gigi. Yeah. I, I've, over the past, uh, I would say about the month, I've, I've found four feathers 
And the other one was the other day, it was a buzzard, a buzzard feather. So it's real big. Wow, oh, cool. It's like this, yeah. this long. Um, and it was in the side garden bed. And I saw all, all three of the feathers I've seen, they've made sure that it's close to where we have our driveway gate. So that if oh. I'm opening and closing it, I find them. And then the other one, and I remember telling Allie about the, the white, the pure white feather that was in the middle of my bathroom floor. That, wow. That we don't have birds in the house. We don't have anything with down in it. You know, we don't have down comforters or, yeah. or coats or anything. Yep. It was, um, I was real, I don't, I don't remember what the situation that I was in, but it was just a big confirmation of, you know, that yes, everything was going to be okay even though I'd been all flustered and everything. Um, and, and to find that in the middle of my bathroom floor. Yeah. Really Do you amazing. save them? Do you oh, save yes. your feathers? Yeah. Yes. I've saved all my feathers. <laughs> oh yeah. I find I them quite often. Them. In fact, it, the, it first, when I first started, you know, like discovering them and it, it at one point, it was, it was such a crazy amount of feathers. I would, I would take the bottom of my shirt and fold them up. And I would have feathers stuffed in there. They'd be all over the yard, like the angels took down pillows or, or like pillow feathered pillows and just yeah, pillow them out the yard. It was insane. <laughs> oh. oh, that's lovely. That's, that's <laughs> awesome. Okay, so we're going to do Leos now. Okay, so this is our last one, the, the fire signs. Okay, so um, so Leos. So the beginning of the week, Leos, okay, you've got rebirth starting off the beginning of the week, uh, which means that a lot of things will kind of feel as if they're coming to an end and a lot of things will um, start to, um, you know, start up anew. Um, so you're going to be quite excited, okay, at this beginning of the week. New adventure, okay, um, new opportunities are going to arise. Maybe some old stuff, that you've been not that bothered with is kind of kind of going to finish um you know if you've got a job that you don't like it could be that that job comes to an end for some reason <clears throat> you know it could be <coughs> sorry could be you making that decision or maybe someone else making that decision for you if you've been procrastinating the universe tends to do it for you okay it's not always so pretty though um as you was given the messages sorry <coughs> We've all got croaky voices tonight, haven't we? Yes. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, it feels as if it's kind of like the rebirth energy. And then when that rebirth takes place, you then have to celebrate, of course. Okay, so there seems to be a party energy. Um, fantastic. It's like um, everybody's saying, well, that was good. Uh, that worked out okay. Um, let's make the most of this situation. And um, let's, uh, let's um, it's like, Rejoicing in that moment and only concentrating on that moment and not worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow. Okay. And I feel that sometimes we have to say, you know, if I plan things carefully, if I stay kind of in the middle and just be um, careful, then my life is going to be fine. So sometimes we can get tricky situations that uh, turn up in our lives. Um, and as long as we kind of adapt a little bit, um, steer our way into, you know, where you're supposed to be, then everything then works out. OK, so beginning of the week, by the middle of the week, there seems to be a little bit of a complicated love life situation happening. OK, for some of you, it might just be love life. OK, but uh, they're telling me about something that's a little bit tricky. OK, that you're needing to sort out. OK, communication needs to happen. Um, and once again, I feel that this is to do with the past. Things were different in the past. You've changed. You know, we've got my, you know, when you're reminiscing about the past. OK, so things were different back then. And one person is saying, well, you know, I'm not the only one that's changed. We've both changed and now we need to adapt to something new. OK, and sometimes we do. We need to kind of shift the energies and say that was how the relationship was then. This is our new normal. OK, and our new normal is still wonderful and it's still beautiful and it's still perfect in its own way. 
we just have to adapt okay so um, there's a lot of talk about that I feel that you're going to be taking on a new challenge okay that um, is linked with ambition so this is to do with um, you know starting of a new project it could be starting a new job promotion extra responsibility within a job um, you know doing something that's going to be a bit um, harder to handle than um, than you've you know had before but, but it's also an exciting time okay and then it's back again this devil card is wow. back again so I just wonder whether or not it's something going on with the universal energy okay mm -hmm. and we're going to be finding out about something in a very truthful way okay so there's already so much going on now that even the sleepies can't ignore okay it's uh, it's amazing my mum um, came across a, a new news channel um, that is brilliant. And I'm going to try and find it for you. No, I closed it down. I closed it down. I've shared it. She shared it on my page and it's something to do with UM National or something. I can't remember it, but I'll share it. Um, it's okay. worth a listen to because it's basically... Um, they're finding out what's happening in the UK or in America from India, Australia and China. OK, because they're telling the truth. They're oh. telling the truth about what's actually going on. And they, so how, how long it will stay up in Facebook, I don't know. Um, but they're definitely saying, you know, uh, Putin is doing a clear out, getting rid of all these biological weapon weapon factories and mm -hmm. um, you know he's not the one that's bombing uh, people they are doing that you know the, right and they've been doing all all sorts of things it's the it's the cesspool of the swamp and it's the last thing to be taken down and that's what's going on and it's that they but of course they're running scared so the media are on a a witch hunt for uh, for Mr. P. Yeah. Well, I, I also, uh, one of the podcasts I follow said there's also a, um, like, ARC, which is like a uh, alien spacecraft, and there's several around the world, but there's one right there in the Ukraine. Wow. And, um, yeah, that's something else they're they're trying to keep hidden. Mm. And um, yeah, um, and it's in a mm. desert part of the Ukraine, which there hardly isn't any desert, but I, I, I didn't look on the map, but they were talking about it in the Russia and China and all of them. Everybody knows about it. So I think there's mm. a fight over this as well. Right. That, that doesn't surprise me at all. Well, mm. right. there's a lady called LJ Predictions. She's a little bit wacky, but she does, did remote viewing for the government. And um, she did a Google Earth in the Ukraine, and she found loads of spacecraft oh. out yes. in. So, Google Earth it, Ukraine. Yeah, because they go to Russia all the time. Yeah, so, Google Earth. Uh, yeah, it because it's, yeah. it's there, and they're, wow. they're they're just sitting there. These craft. It was quite amazing. Um, so. Anyway, I think we're going to find out some more information coming up so. into this week. Okay, it's going to be quite poignant. Okay, um, we've got the movement card again. So somebody is moving around you at the end of the week, Leos. Okay, this could be you moving. It could be moving of um, your circumstances, your situation. Um, something is kind of, you know, um, the, the ability to get on with things is really happening by the end of the week, you know? Um, there's no more stopping you. Um, everything is go, 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 okay, for you, Leos. Um, I feel that you've got to take that blinkered vision off, though, and stop feeling as if you, you are stuck because it's habit when it hasn't, it isn't actually, um, it hasn't actually stopped, okay? So, yeah, that's what I see going on with Leos. Doors open, fly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. 
what messages there are for Leo this week. Ah, uh, the moon card. And that I'm, <clears throat> I'm getting two messages because it, this, um, this card for me always is um, intuition. Um, but then it can also mean like making choices. And then it's also, um, you know, making sure that um, these, um, that you're using your intuition in making these choices to, so that you don't um, have kind of like that, that drowning, pulled down, drag down feeling. Um, so let's, let's look into more about that. Dear and love. And it says, be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. Okay, so this is, this is coming together. All right. Liberation card. The doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe anymore that they're you. Boundaries. Wow. You know, this is a big deck of cards and it's amazing to me how often the cards come, come back up. It happens okay. every week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, Okay, so these cards, I definitely feel like they, they're they speaking with each other um, because I feel like you have, you are working on or have had recently to, um, to extend some boundaries to, to prevent this, to prevent this, this drag down uh, feeling that you've, you've been having, like you're, you're being pulled in, in um, other directions maybe your intuition is telling you are not the good direction so you need to listen to the the higher self intuition um so that you are um you know making the decisions in the the best and highest greatest good for you and not what somebody else is telling you is your is best for you and and you'll have a liberating feeling you know from that and and just make sure that no matter you know how difficult this decision may have felt um, it's all done in love and it's, it's the, the greatest and highest good in love for you. It's in the highest and greatest good and love for that other person or that other situation. And, and yeah, just, to just to, to trust that, that your higher self is going to guide you, you know, where you need, need to be guided. And that is what I have for Leo. Thank you. Thank you. I just had a look and see if it's on my page. It has been taken down. Oh, no. Yeah. I'll it's try and cold. find out. I'll try and find out who it was. But they were literally opening up about everything. Wow. That it? It, was, it wasn't that guy, whoever that lady said. It wasn't that guy. So, no. But, you know, that could be good stuff too, couldn't it? So, so this guy, the UK politics uncover? No. No, not that dude? No. Mm, okay. Oh, add the pin. That's it. Let's <laughs> try to sort out the pinning. <laughs> so over to you, Vera. Yay. <clears throat> okay. For Leo. For the beginning of the week. The balance card comes out. Thank you, angels, for bringing my life into balance. <laughs> and yeah, it 
maybe you've had it was going all over that way and nasty way it's going better and but it kept on going side to side one side heavier than the other side but it feels like now it's gonna balance out more so it's gonna be more beneficial for yourself it's also gonna bring you the feeling of trustworthy friends again this one wanted out so it's really important that you go into the trustworthy friends and that's your gut feeling trust your intuition thank you angels for surrounding me with people i can trust and love also they advise you take time to breathe because you can be fully on oh i gotta do this i gotta balance out this all right oh oh it's leaning to breathe because when you breathe again you send to yourself which brings it also more balanced and yet might be leaning towards the other side but when you feel more centered they can lean on one side and all that happens is just okay they're leaning fine no problem i'm strong i'm standing here so you send yourself and this card screamed from the bottom of the deck. Live your joy. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. So, yeah. I think that Leos that have been struggling for a while are going to finally feel I'm getting there. Finally, it's going to be more balanced. Finally, I have, I feel I have friends I can trust. I can tell my story. They know what I mean. Maybe they didn't experience, but they feel how I feel about things. Breathe through it. And live your joy because it's inside you. Don't hold back because all together. I think you're going to have a good week for Leos. That's what I got for Leos. Good. I just want to show you because I found it on mum's page. I'm taking it off mine, but. <laughs> hey, you okay, share my mum's page. It's still on my mum's page. It's called UK Column. UK Column. I can't kind of a glare on the screen. Let's see if I can go to her page. <clears throat> yeah. Go to Patricia Walsh. I've just tried to share it again on mine. But it's like they're just going over to the other countries and it's showing the truth, what's actually going on. And then you've got right next to it, Mr. B. Johnson, whatever his name is. He's basically saying the complete opposite, you know, the, the, the crap that he's spearing out, you know, so oh. very interesting. So looks like I've been crying or someone's been punching me in the eye. <laughs> My makeup's looking really special. <laughs> okay, um, so whose go is it now? I feel it's Stephanie's. I pulled the world card, so everything is going to turn out better than you thought. So just jumping off of Vera's, it's going to be a good week for Leo. And the lesson's been learned. And on to the next stage or next chapter. And then I pulled the koi fish. And koi is there's always enough. So the koi fish who grows big within a small pond reminds us that within each of us is a potential for prosperity, 
The law of abundance ensures that the prosperity is our natural state. So regardless of temporary outer conditions, you can call in prosperity and magnetically attract the opportunities and abundance you need. The message of Koi Fish Spirit is to begin to generate wealth within with the deliberate intention. Uh, no matter how small your pond may seem and appreciate abundance wherever you see it. So again, money and wealth and yeah, looks good for all of us. The, the arcing message. Yeah. Yeah. Always, uh, you know, and I know that sometimes things are delayed and, you know, this was what was scheduled and sometimes there is a shift in the timelines and we have to understand that it is a darn war going on in the background so yeah know, things don't finish at five o'clock on a thursday because that's what was predicted you know this doesn't happen right. like <laughs> okay yeah. all right so um so we're down to we're on sagittarius now aren't we sagittarius you wouldn't believe what's come up at the end of the week again. What's that? The devil. Oh, for goodness sake. So I'll go into that in a minute, but that turned up at the end of the week. Anyway, so the beginning of the week is the Empress. Okay. So this is kind of um, maybe somebody's going to announce they're pregnant. Maybe somebody's going to say, I want to be pregnant. Uh, maybe there is something... Um, you know, to do with kind of pregnancy energy, okay, around around you, but there is celebration with it, so it's um it's all good, okay, it's good energy, okay. So um, this is celebration of love, celebration of family, celebration of um, joy and happiness, okay. Um, the Empress can also mean motherhood, mothering, okay, feeling as if you are um, wanting to be a mother or to, to, you know, bring somebody to you because you feel that they need you, okay? Um, you know, for others of you, it feels as if maybe you need a bit of looking after as well, okay? Um, so this one is where you're being led, okay, by the universal energy, by Mother Earth. These, you've come out of the storm, okay, here, and you're going into kind of the shoreline so it's like the tide is just bringing you safely to the shore um and you know the birds are helping you okay so the birds are representing swords uh, they're representing thoughts okay in um the light seers uh, tarot okay so they don't have swords they have ravens okay and um i think the red is significant um because the red basically says to me um that it's like look out for something look out for something something will be seen okay in a big way and um, she's got a suitcase in her hand so again this can mean travel energy okay somebody traveling all right okay the middle of the week you have um the lovers cards this is about people coming together okay i predicted and i'll stand by it um that 2022 is going to have more um intense relationships um, you know, profound ones, that twin flame ones, that soul, um, soul energy um, coupling, okay, is going to be happening more in 2022 than ever before, okay, and um, I stand by that, so there's a very good chance that you're going to bring to you your twin, if you're already in a relationship, then sometimes that relationship just gets stronger and deeper and more understanding, okay, so um What's with it is sometimes we have to go within um, to our, our brain, you know, thinking, okay, having some deep um, thoughts. The relationship sometimes is deeper than you realize. It goes from not just this lifetime, it goes from other lifetimes, okay, which is really exciting. Um, try this, you know, maybe... Um, sit opposite your partner um, don't have the tv on you can have kind of music in the background and just stare into each other's eyes now there'll be a lot of giggling um, to start okay that's fine and but just go past that 
and still after the giggling and it starts to kind of calm down, I want you to not look at the eyes, I want you to look at the soul. So you're looking at the, the soul of that person and then ask them to show you other past lives that you've had. I did this with Greg in the beginning. And um, my facial features were the same, these was the same. Obviously on a masculine form, it was a little bit more masculine or feminine and his was the same, just this bit. But it, you know, that was on kind of an older person, a younger person, you know, there's a childlike kind of, you can see the features of a child. Um, and it was all kind of flipping through all these different lifetimes. Um, so I think it's time to um, understand that we're not just here on this lifetime here, that there's been many, many lifetimes in the past and we're here and we need to kind of fast forward um, past all of the, all the crap and get to the point where you know each other and you two have been on many adventures in the past and it's time to have a look. Okay, so look out for that. Take that blindfold off and see things how they really are. In the middle of the week. By the end of the week, we have that devil card again. This can be mischievous naughtiness. It can be, um, like we said, you know, maybe deep state stuff is coming out. Okay. Um, there seems to be a bit of sarcasm <laughs> coming in, you know, here. It's like um, maybe there's a lot of uh, doubters out there um, that may have to eat their words or <laughs> maybe, you know, there's a little bit of kind of tongue in cheek stuff. OK, going on, it's going to be very difficult when it actually does come out for us to not say I told you so to all these people who are damn right rude to us. And we were only trying to save their life. You know, we was only trying to give them as much information as possible because they weren't going to look for themselves. Um, and yet we were shot down in flames or ignored. And then then they have the problems that they have. So. Um, it's going to be very difficult, all right? We're not going to, of course, but, you know, um, I feel that, that that's what that card represents, I think, you know? It's like um, it's a bit of, bit of sarcasm there. Um, but there's going to be some positive affirmations going out there, you know? We've just got to kind of carry on and, um, you know, if there is shock out there, you know, um, lots of people aren't going to be able to handle the truth, I don't think. And um, we're going to need to be the light um, at the end of that dark tunnel if they've kind of suddenly been aware of what has really been going on. It's going to be quite difficult. So um, this is where we're putting out positive affirmations for the future. You know, how do you want your world to be? So the world, there's stuff going on in the world that's absolutely hideous. OK, so how do you want it to be? How do you want it to change? We need to start focusing on that, okay? Come away from what there is, and it's like, let's create our own um, bliss, heaven on earth. Let's create our own. How would, you, how would it all work? Would we have a government still? Or maybe would that government um, be, we would govern ourselves and maybe make decisions ourselves, you know? We have a quantum system where we can actually say, you know, in our own area, we think there should be more money being spent on this than that. Do you see what I mean? So, and it's like, you know, there's there's decisions to be made. So I feel as if that's what's going on. If, if everybody put that positive affirmation out there, instead of thinking, doubting that it's taken too long or it's not happening or, you know, is this the truth? Sometimes we need to kind of dismiss that and say, this planet cannot carry on as it is and so change has to come and let's create our our you know our paradise there you go that's what i see is you're awesome. muted girl sherry you're muted <laughs> oh so this whole time you haven't heard me saying oh wow yeah <laughs> no, <laughs> no. i'm talking to myself <laughs> <laughs> well that was that was a, a that was a, a very wow reading i think yeah. it wasn't obviously just for leo uh, just for sag 
yeah. Something else happening there. Yeah. All right. Sagittarius. What, what is in store for you this week? Sagittarius. A Hierophant card. Um, so this is um, you know, like spiritual teachings, wisdom, um, guide connection. So let's pull some more cards to find out a little bit more about that. And I'm really being drawn to this. It's, it's kind of a sacred geometry type of lotus flower shape. And that's, that's really getting my attention. So. Uh, orca whale adventure. It says, dare to do things differently. Sing your wild song. Manifest your travel dreams. Attempt the great journey with confidence. Be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures. Be brave. You are more powerful than you know. Okay. Mm, I think for some, this encouragement... Um, to connect with guides. Um, some of you will be able to connect with whale energy. Wow. Yep. Okay. Actually, I mean, it's, it's encouraged to all. It's, it's very, you know, it's actually very easy to, to tap into energies. It, it just really just takes faith and trust. Um, and they're, they're so open. They're, they're so welcoming and and they're open and and they want these connections you know they're they're like right here like waving their hands in our faces saying we're right here you're right here you know you you just have but to see us you have just but to to know us you have just but to feel us to hear us they are they are right there and it's it's just taking that step you know uh, that leap of faith and they're so welcoming and open and, you know, fulfilling and it's just incredible. So they're, they're always, they're always asking for, for more connections, you know, with, with human beings. Yeah. Um, ooh. All right. So delusion intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. All right. Yeah. Such pretty cards. I know they are. This is sensitivity. Okay. So, um, no. So you're actually being you're you're being asked to take kind of like a spiritual adventure. Um, you know, work through the, the, the delusions and, and the illusions and, you know, you, you have extreme sensitivity and if you work on that, that sensitivity, that that's what it takes. It's, it's feeling more, it's seeing more, it's knowing more, um, it's hearing more. And yep, the whales, the whales would be a very easy connection for, for any of you. So that's, that is the beautiful message for Sagittarius. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Vera. Yeah. Yeah. Well, are these readings already paid for or just anyone who bust in on Sapate? Lol. Well, these are just astrology predictions for the upcoming week for anyone. With free. that birth sign. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so, we're on, on the last ones now, but yeah. So, whatever birth sign you are, unless you are a Sagittarius or Aries, it's back there. <laughs> so, well. This is the, for Sagittarius, and it's been almost throughout every sign. 
So it's extremely important. Trustworthy friends comes out again. And I feel for many, it is getting more and more important to know who you are, who, who are your friends. And yeah, select, be selective with your friends. When you feel you can speak up openly, you've got a good idea. You can are with trustworthy friends. And towards the middle of the week, it says also honor your beauty, Archangel Jophiel. Thank you, Jophiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. Because both are equally important. And appearance, yeah, inner beauty, when you feel beautiful from the inside, it doesn't matter how you look on the outside because they will look past it. And if you see only your own flaws, you will pull in the people to see the flaws. And maybe a crazy thing, most people don't even notice. I have no lower teeth. I don't care. I've not noticed. And sometimes when I mention, really? Yep, really, I have no lower teeth and I don't mind. So yeah, if that would have happened years ago, Oh my God, I would have been talking like this. I would have come in my mouth. Oh my God, they're going to see it. Go on. So where you put your attention on your beauty or your flaws, especially when you put attention to your flaws, people will notice because you pull that in. Uh -huh. But when you shine from the inside and it doesn't matter, you, people will see the beauty inside of you. <clears throat> Towards the end of the week. Hmm. I haven't seen this card in the deck yet. The miracle of forgiveness. Archangel Jeremiel. Thank you, Jeremiel, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. And I say with this, you don't have to forget what someone did, but you can forgive to heal yourself. And for some, it will never happen in, in this lifetime. And for others, they'll find the courage because it's a tough road when something, someone did really bad to forgive that person. But keep in mind, you don't forgive them you forgive them for yourself. And then a card from this deck wanted out, Native American Oracle cards. And I will read it because I'm just getting acquainted to the deck because it's completely new. This card came out. And yeah, I'm also drawn to the horse, to the arrow or the, the yeah, spear, I call it. But also the strength of the person. He's standing there, looking. I'm here, I'm standing. And this is what, and it, thankfully it's a short message. Taikomol, god of rain, gestation. Taikomol was once upon a time a creator god who was called he who sewed up the world. He arose from foam, from water, the only thing that existed. For the Californian Yuki, Taikomol is he who walks alone. And so he created the world. After creating the world, including humans and giving them language, he ascended to the skies and lives as an old wayfarer. 
a pilgrim of the heavens, detached from the lives of humans. When it rains, whenever life is nurtured and brought forth, we are reminded of his great gifts. Now the message. Let the waters of your heart burst forth and nourish the world around you. Give with no expectations of repayment. Keywords, gestation, solitude, fertility, tears, cleansing, healing. And the time is autumn. So when you put that on the rest of the cards, and I think that's also a little bit of message towards the world. When you have the courage to open up your heart and when you honor your inner beauty, you have trustworthy friends, miracle forgiveness. I see Sagittarius standing like this because yes, you feel you need friends, but on your own, you have so much strength no, but nothing can blow you away. That's what I feel from it. For such a fairness. Mm. Very powerful. Mm. Thank you. I like those Native American cards. Mm. Okay. And it's, it's for me just connecting with energies and then that will start to flow. Go. <laughs> I pulled the moon card. So this has come up again. So obviously it's about um, psychic abilities, but the moon also uh, shines down on the water. So it's probably also about reflections and um, for depending on, is this a full moon filling up? So then I pulled horse spirit and horses are social animals. And again, here's horse again. Hey, Mo, <laughs> uh, freedom is yours. So it says, uh, when horse spirit appears, you are gifted with the spirit of movement and freedom. It is time for travel and adventure whether that means a trip somewhere or taking a different type of journey, one of freedom of choice. Horse Spirit reminds you that no matter the circumstances, you have free will and the choices that can take you far away to a better place, better situation, better state of being, for there is no one but you to rein in your will to make different decisions. You are capable of making powerful choices that will affect you for a long time to come. Horses are social animals and known to be a friend of mankind, willing to carry us forward when we need it. Horse spirit reminds you that help will be available to you whenever you need it, and compassion will be by your side whenever you choose to go, whatever direction you choose to travel. Life is an adventure, and horse spirit wants you to know that whatever choices you make, you have great spirit with invisible, yet holding you up and always walking by your side. Lovely. Thank you for reading that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for letting me join in. It's great. It's brilliant. Sorry, Christine. Libra was a little earlier. <laughs> Unfortunately. And she says, I, I was the one who contacted Greg about missing my Saturday 8 p.m. app. What does that mean? Oh, I'll have to contact in a minute. We'll, we'll do this and then I'll talk that, that out later. Okay, <laughs> so we do Aries. Okay. Um, so let's have a look and see if the devil cards comes up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, devil. But okay. That would be funny. Let me shuffle these, okay? So, <laughs> okay. I have shared the UK column. I've shared all of that with... Um, I've shared all of that with you guys. Okay, I haven't shared oh. it with Sherry. Um, would you like me to? 
Yes. I'll do that in a minute. Okay. Right. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's going on then with Aries. Okay. And this is for the 28th of March through to the 3rd of April. Okay, so we've got the hanged man, the beginning of the week. I'm just doing this so that you can see. We've got the rebirth card, end of one way of life, beginning of another. And we're okay. We have the judgment card, which is breaking free, okay, from restrictions. So, okay, so the beginning of the week um, is all about everything being upside down and waiting, okay? So, you know, um, I know we've all felt a little bit of that kind of waiting energy, um, at different periods of our life over the last two years. Uh, there's been a lot of that kind of waiting game energy. Um, so there's a little bit more of that going on at the beginning of the week. Okay, but like I said, sometimes it's time to reflect. Sometimes it's time to, to think about things that perhaps you wouldn't have normally thought about. Okay, you know, there are lots of different changes happening um, that, um, you know, you need time to kind of adjust to okay in your life without moving on quickly to the next plan um and obviously we know that the rebirth card has happened in the middle of the week so i'll go into that in a minute okay all right so um so we've got kind of this card the five of cups which means sometimes feeling a little bit blur <laughs> um it's like mm -hmm. You know, this is this is how I'm feeling a bit emotionally. So, you know, we're OK. We can all feel like this sometimes. So, um, you know, it doesn't last long, though, because it feels as if it's like stiff up a lip and let's get on with it. So um, the uh, Cancerian energy then comes out within you. Um, I'm not saying you are a Cancerian, um, obviously, but you might have Cancerian in your chart somewhere. Um, but this is kind of the energy, the emotions. It means putting a hard front on and kind of don't want confrontation. So kind of walking sideways around situations so that you are not um, getting too caught up in everything. Okay. So, um, so yeah, it just feels as if there is, um, you know, even though you might be feeling a little bit fed up, you're still putting that front on. You're still being that um, strong person for everybody else around you. Okay. So, like I said, with the rebirth card in the middle, it means that there are lots of changes happening. End of one way of life, beginning of another. OK, um, a situation around you is finishing, ending, and you've now got the new beginnings happening OK, in your life. So sometimes it's time um, to be that childlike energy again and not fight it, because sometimes we're fighting um, for, you know, because of the changes. It's like, you know, because we think these changes are bad for us. We think, you know, this is terrible. You know, this shouldn't be happening. And we start throwing our toys out of a pram, only to find out that later on, actually, the universe was on your side. And yes, you had to go through an awful transition um, period, but look at what you have now. Um, and so we, we do have to trust. Um, so this is kind of the things are difficult. Things are getting bad. Um, I'm sulking. Okay, energy. All right. Um, and uh, they're saying that you've already put in lots of positive affirmations in the past. And with all these positive affirmations in the past, you are then able to, um, you know, re um, gain the rewards back. Okay, so um, it might not seem as if you are um, at this particular point, the middle of um, next week. Um, but if you should just hang on a little bit longer, um, you will see that there's going to be a breakthrough. OK, the judgment is the breakthrough. OK, breaking through or breaking away from anything that has been restricting you. OK, um, so restrictions to do with, um, you know, um, that could be for anything. That could be emotional restrictions. It could be restrictions financially. It could be restrictions um, to do with job study it could be restrictions in the family whatever the restrictions are there is going to be a breakthrough like they've said um, happening at the end of the week um, and they're saying if you can be, just be careful with money just be a little bit more careful 
don't be spending lots of money, kind of keep in that balanced energy, okay, of finances. And then, um, then you will see lots of wonderful things start to emerge and happen, okay? Um, and, um, you know, the challenges are all there for you, okay? Um, so um, look out for the challenges and be strong and don't shy away from them because it's like a, big, a bit of a test. The, uni the universe is testing you to see just how much do they want what they want? You know, we're gonna we're gonna test them. We're gonna do this and do that and then see how they go. And you're shouting up saying, haven't I been tested enough? <laughs> when I decided to do all of these things, I must have been drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go back and change my contract, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go, that's for Aries. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see aries yeah. i was pulling faces also <laughs> this card is kind of poking out all right so the full card which is uh asking you to take a, a leap of faith but you're ready the universe is letting you ready and then the unicorn card fell out and we've had this card. This was the unicorn with infinite possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. The awake, gosh, this wake and awakening card has come up a lot too. It says, oh, my Lord, wake me from life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. And this is modify. This card is modify. All right. So I'm kind of I'm reading this in two ways. Um, I feel for some uh, Aries, this is going to apply to you. But with others, it's going to apply with somebody that's close to you. Um, so you may be awakening yourself um, or it's somebody close to you um, that is awakening and they're having a, a, a bit of a struggle with it. So you're just being called to be kind of patient and gentle. You know, I know it's easier said than done, um, but yes. So they're, they're asking for, for patience and, and gentleness and love um, and which you have that in abundance <laughs> because you have listened to the universe and taken that leap of faith and your possibilities are infinite. You're a magic, magical being. Oh, all right. And that is what I have for Aries. Um, I, I, I want to let you know that I, I feel some um, light language coming out or the light language message that wants to come through, but it's, a, it's supposed to be at the very end because I'm feeling lots of um, like gratitude and thankful for all of us from like the universe for bringing these messages through. And then it's just going to be kind of a general blessing message, you know, for all of the Zodiac. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good for that. okay. Thank you. Okay. So it will be, it's, is it Vera? Yeah. Vera next, isn't it? And well, for Aries, for the upcoming week, I got cards from different parts that already came out, different sequence. Funny that I talked about it. it also comes up for Aries. Honor your beauty, Archangel Jovial. Thank you, Jovial, for helping me 
discover my inner and outer beauty. <clears throat> and I think for, for Aries, it's really important this week that that you really see your own inner beauty. You should ah, uh, you push it aside with some, oh, you look beautiful. Well, I'm one that also thinks, yeah, right. I know better. <laughs> but I should honor myself also better. <clears throat> Towards the middle of the week, the divine position came out again. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. And yeah, this can be that your body doesn't feel, well, it gets tired easily, or you do a couple of things and you got to rest. Well, when you project yourself with that divine light shining upon you, on your healthy body, you are creating a healing for your own, for yourself, for your own body. You need your time. It takes time to heal, but it will improve slowly, but it will improve. And I've just a short idea. In 2015, I had a huge operation and I know with what they took out, most people with the same kind after seven years cannot do what I already did in, in a year. They say you can only lift a certain amount of weight. I managed to just by thinking a way around getting to, about getting tired to get it done. And yeah, that meant sometimes I had moved it four or five steps, took a break, four or five steps more further. And I'm now there where they, where most people don't even get. So you can see, say, a body that doesn't want to perform the way you are capable of, or you can see what can I do within the limits of my body and occasionally push a little bit past, but make sure you have enough time to rest because it will push your limits further and further. And towards the end of the week. Yeah, and that fits healthy choices. Yeah. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy decisions i thought that said heavy choices then healthy, <laughs> I was gonna say, what? <laughs> healthy. yeah because when you make decisions that no matter what you're gonna do what you need to do but instead of say like painting uh, the whole living room before, I would have done that in an afternoon, a couple of hours, and it would have been done. But when you have to stay within the limits of your body, it can take maybe two weeks before it's done. But it still gets done. And then you can tell, uh, be proud of yourself. So don't see an obstacle. I cannot do this or this or this. Plan how you're going to do it and feel how your body feels after it. Say if you would do something by 30 minutes and you need a week to recover, you've overdone it. Go back to 10 minutes. Give it time, 15 minutes. You will build it up. And yep, you'll have a moment. You get smacked in the face, stop, hold, take the time to recover. Because you're pushing your body, you're pushing yourself beyond what the 
medic regular medicine say you can? Oh, you can only do what, about 20% of the normal of what you're used to. But when you will put your mind on it, you might be pushing it to 50%. And that's what I got for Aries. Okay. So Last one. You're Aries, aren't you? I'm Aries. Yeah. And to finish off, we have lovely Stephanie. Um, where's the move pin? That's it. Okay. I pulled the hermit. So I get interest. How do you say that word? Introspection. Um, looking within, maybe even taking a break to analyze things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe meditating. And then I pull porcupine spirit and it said time for a beginner's mind. So it says when porcupine spirit calls your name, you are being asked to adopt a beginner's mind and to approach situations with innocence and curiosity. The old confining stories no longer have a hold on you. Life is full of surprises hiding in plain sight. Looking at the world fresh with new eyes can help you find what you've been looking, seeking, whether it is a relationship, an opportunity, or evidence that you have all you need right now to co-create what you desire. Who knew? Porcupine asks you to be playful and have a childlike curiosity. There is so much waiting for you that you have yet to discover. And that's what I have. Oh. Well done. So we got through it. Woohoo. We did. Woo, that was a lot. <laughs> we did. We did. And um, I didn't do short readings today, so um <laughs> so it took a bit longer. <laughs> All right. Um I'm being asked to, to show this card, which is a beautiful card. It says awareness and it's card 30. Um, but the three is really jumping out at me. And the three is, you know, good fortune and positive things coming your way. Mm. All right. So then I feel like this light language is just kind of um, a way to kind of like, you know, kind of push, push those blessings, you know, towards, <laughs> towards all of us. Um, okay. So I've, I've gotten some feedback, you know, that sometimes the light language, um, I'm like too close to the, the camera. And so people, that people who don't know about light language, oh, explain a little bit. Yes. So, so it doesn't come as a shock to people. <laughs> <laughs> so light language is a way of speaking from my heart and my soul that I am open to the universe to bring through messages um, in, their, in their true form or as much of a true form I can bring through my human body. Um, it's always in the highest frequency, the highest light, the highest love, you know, the, the greatest intention. Um, and I've, I've allowed my myself to be open to whatever comes. So I get multiple messages that come through. And I think a lot of them are based on past life experiences. Um, you know, th that the reason I'm able to bring forth these languages or these sounds or these tones or the hand signing or, or any of the drawings or the symbols, you know, that I can write out are remembrances because I've done these things before in past lives. I've spoken these languages because I lived this life. I've drawn these images because I lived that life. And my messages can come from the animal kingdom. They can come through uh, the angelic realm. They can come through cosmic um, channelings, um, cosmic memories. And some of them are you know, earthly ancestral. Um, so they may sound, you know, sort of Native American or Asian or Mayan or Polynesian. Um, and since I'm open to whatever message needs to come through, sometimes I'll have multiple voices that come through. So if you've ever heard of the term speaking in tongues, that's that's similar um, to what I do, but 
in calling it a light language. Um, you know, I keep the intention pure that, you know, this is from the, the highest and greatest good and from the highest frequencies. And they were all, they are always going to bring, you know, forth positive uh, messages and blessings. Okay. Was that good? Was that, <laughs> that was amazing the way we, yep. So, okay. I always think that should be done before light language for people who okay. do not understand it. So, if, especially if you're doing it in public. So. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to try it. I have some hand signing sometimes that comes through. Um, you know, I, if I have the camera too close, then it can't be seen. But then also because some of the toning or the chanting, it reaches very high like decibels. It, it gets crackly, you know, in, in the microphone. So so I've, I've been told to, to show more <laughs> here. And then step back a little bit. My my son said I'm I'm too close to the microphone. So hopefully this will will come through better. And if you can just give me your feedback and let me know, um, then that helps me adjust adjust things. All right. So I'm just grounding myself and allowing the energies to 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 come through. Ita suku sira mihua Ia tike hoku hoku ea ia Uki sia uvi ia du Thank you. And I forgot the elementals. They let, they let me know that I forgot elementals. I can bring through elemental energy as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That's really lovely. Thank, Thank you. you. And it was lovely to see your hands as well. So, yeah. yeah. And then did the microphone sound okay? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good to know. All right. <laughs> well, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to, to share that. Thank you. And thank you to everybody else. Thank you for everybody's energy. It was wonderful to see. Yes. Um, and I feel it. Outside their comfort zone. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that positive energy, the, you know, and the vibes that we have in our group, it, it helps, it, it helps you step up, you know, it does. Yeah does so Aww. thank you thank you thank you <laughs> i love you all and yeah. thank you everybody for um joining me there. christine i'll give you a message on facebook because i don't think you'll get my email so <laughs> i will come back to you okay anyway take care good night